Welcome, everybody. You know, I'm excited to announce here today with my good friend, Hassan, uh, here in our $20 billion underground bunker. That's that, right. That our PPP loan, Leftovers Inc., our PPP loan was officially forgiven today. Hell yeah, baby. Woo! Yep. We actually were able to regain all $20 billion that we used for the bunker. It was all forgiven today. Yep. Yep. And if you want to regain your student loan debt, if you want any kind of loan relief, fuck you. Pick yourself <laughs> right. up by your goddamn bootstraps. Why don't you work harder and, and not do that and not suck on the government titty? Yeah, there's been a lot of that. I've actually really enjoyed... All the Harvard PhDs and literal billionaires yeah. like Mitt Romney who are like, this is an outrage that students are getting $10,000 out of debt. Um, Mitt Romney, you're worth half a billion dollars. Like, have you, do you know anything about debt at all? Like, shut the fuck, shut your mouth, bitch. Uh my favorite was Obama, uh, Obama administration, uh, uh, you know, econ advisor, Jason Furman, mm -hmm. uh, who went on to complain about it. Obama? Yeah, of course. Uh, Judas? The liberals, liberals are, <laughs> first of all, Obama already had like a fuckload of Goldman Sachs people in his, in his cabinet, which was right. awful to begin with. Right. Uh, shouts out to Obama. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, um, Obama. And yeah. We are all domestic terrorists. So, so that was already annoying. So he he goes on the timeline and he's like blasting it, and because it's like an Obama and administration person. We are all domestic Sorry. Yeah, AB, it doesn't work if you're. Um, Zach's gone, so okay, it's, it's all a little good. dicey. A yeah, you just got, you, all you did was cut him off. Yeah, no, well, AB's still recovering from the fucking you know awful thing that he had to have last week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you, son. But in any case. Uh, he came out on the timeline. Everyone was like, oh, my God, like, look, this is a former Obama guy. Like, oh, drama, right? Obama, but like Biden, what's going on there? And um, and then I immediately I was like, all right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what this dude's background is. Of course, Harvard graduate. His gr his father went to Harvard. His father was a real estate developer. Right. And guess what his grandfather was doing? Also a real estate developer. Oh my god, that's so crazy. It's like, yeah, dickhead, you obviously don't give a shit because you think you fucking earned it. How did you earn it? By being born into a family that already had legacy admission and like your your Harvard they, admission they, was like bro, set the moment you were fucking yeah, born. They bought a gymnasium or some shit so his ass could go to Harvard. Yeah. This man has never even known someone who was this man, everyone in his orbit is probably disgustingly wealthy. You know what I mean? This man has never known a middle class yeah. person in his life. And of course, his brother is also a federal judge, also appointed oh, by shout Obama. Out. Like, it's just these guys, like, <laughs> the, the, we talk about nepotism, right? And, like, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm nepotism, Andy. I, I you know, I That's worked true. at my uncle's uh, 26 person, uh, you know, YouTube startup. By the way, people. The same as going to Harvard. People do say you're a nepotism baby, but I will say in your defense, obviously. I don't. Femi. I mean, you were on Twitch do, building your own your own uh, empire. I mean. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> you didn't rise the ranks through. Yeah, through I didn't. The I didn't blow up. I mean, this. I mean, I have emails from him begging me to come on the show. That's true. Literally did. begging and kissing my ring. Yeah, I was like, Ethan, please, I love you. Basically. I'm such a big fan. And, and I didn't even respond because yeah. I didn't know who the fuck he was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the the whole like <laughs> Young Turks, Jake's nephew didn't work. <laughs> Not at all. It did nothing for me. Um. Yeah, and now I'm. You know, now I'm. Have I ever read largest. those emails? I don't know. I think we might have looked at it. I think in the we looked at it. Maybe on the podcast. Yeah, like, early okay, on. This hat is really itchy. Dude, I'm, it's horrible. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm taking it off. I'm, I'm going through with it. Woo, it is. It's too itchy for me. I'm sorry. Um, Hold on. I want to find one. Hassan Piker. But yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I am a nepotism baby. I mean, I'm a, I'm a beneficiary of nepotism. I, uh, I admit that. I mean, my parent, I mean? my parents paid for. Oh, we read them already. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. My parents well, paid for my college. I paid. I paid for some for the last year. Yeah. No. I. I look. I. I had student loan debt. I paid mine off. Uh, it was not easy to do, but I would. I'm. I don't know. I would never be like, huh. I suffered, so you should too. Like that's fucking psychotic. Like, that's you're just, the. Uh, you're just trying to 
cut policy off of being selfish. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, so that's that's the main talking point I see people saying about the student loan debt forgiveness is like, what about the people that already paid off their debt? It's like, great. They know how shitty it is, and and most normal human beings, I think, that, <laughs> would probably feel like uh, others should not have to go through that. I mean, you could say that about so many things, though, right? Yeah. You I could got, say yeah. that about people who, you know... There was a TikTok about... Uh, there's, a, there's a black girl on TikTok that made a, a joke about that exactly, about talking about, like, the Underground Railroad and, like, the abolition of slavery and, and how, uh, you know, it's like... No one is going to say, like, oh, well, we had to, we had to escape, and now you're just going to abolish slavery across the board? Like, that's fucked up. <laughs> or... Um, yeah. Or, you know, oh, well, I uh, I had cancer and I had to survive it. And it was really difficult with chemo. But now there's a vaccine. Uh, no, everyone should go through yeah. that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. just like so stupid. And as far as debt goes, um, I mean, debt relief is pretty commonplace. And that debt should not even exist in the first place because you shouldn't have to pay to go to college. You should not have to pay to become a more productive member of the workforce. So... You know. I mean, there's been there's like massive fucking corporate handouts all the time. Yeah. And the one time it actually goes, I read this factoid, which is very interesting because this never happens. 70 percent of the like, I don't know, how much is it? 300 billion or something that they're giving to uh, 329 billion over 10 years. Is yes. So the estimate 70 percent 70 percent of it is going to people who earn less than 75,000 a year or something yeah that's that's fucking good economics you know, you know what's, when you, you know what's fucked up no no listen to this though because jason Furman had something for that too and he was like well they're making less than 75 grand right now but that means they're probably going to make far more than that in the future it's like dude 10, fuck yourself over, over literally 10 years i just you can't say stuff that you could say on on youtube right you that you couldn't say, say on twitter there's, there's like you can say anything but the see you next Tuesday and slurs. Oh, so I could like be like, no, I can't say like, you know, it, the world would be Whisper a better my place. Whisper and I'll tell you yes or no. Okay. No, I'm just like, like kill yourself. Can I say kill yourself? I don't, I don't think so. I've gotten in trouble. That, that's one I would just steer away for, from for just for the sake of a, yeah, a appearance. Pecker is mad. Yeah, I am not saying kill yourself to anyone. No. On this broadcast, in Minecraft. or ever at all, I would never do that. Jump also, off a mountain in Minecraft. But it does it does roll off the tongue really well sometimes, especially for certain particular individuals where you just like wanna you wanna let out your frustration and say that. But yeah, so seventy percent of this money is going to people who earn less than like seventy five thousand dollars a year, and that's incredible for welfare programs because usually with these big government handouts like example the PPP this was just like a cash fucking frenzy for super wealthy companies i mean insane right and 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 these same people the, the, by the way the PPP program cost a trillion dollars nearly and, and for the record just just so we clarify something here like there was good that came out of the PPP low uh, um, program a lot of people were able yeah, to pay their employees yeah. and not fucking fire them immediately or not do like budget cuts right so I'm not good. I'm not I'm not I'm not criticizing that program I'm only saying as an example that with this 1 trillion dollar cash frenzy that went like the vast majority to super rich companies a vast majority, as we'll show you guys, are these conservatives who are criticizing the student loan forgiveness program. Uh, it's, it's, they have nothing to fucking complain about. But the minute that you're actually bailing out people who are in, and student debt, is a, it's a legitimate crisis. I mean, every- 1.7 trillion dollars It's It's unbelievable. And, and by the way, the amount of people that I know personally, there's more people that have student debt than not. The amount of debt these people have is insane. You're literally crushing the rising class, the uh, uh, future working class of this country with un unsurmountable debt, okay? Well, that is by design, Ethan. Um, well, that I, is, that is li quite literally on purpose. It's the same exact principle as employer-backed insurance programs. Uh, it is a way to make sure that there is a permanent underclass of workers. But it's everybody. Yeah, no, but like become everybody. It's not, it's, it's not everybody, because like the, it's the, the more, incredibly wealthy don't have to go through that, or are not shackled or burdened in the same dude, in the same way that like 
a middle class family is though because education is the most education is the common denominator for upward social mobility right so you are you are essentially ensuring and this is something that uh, Ronald Reagan's advisor uh, uh, talked about all the way back when Ronald Reagan was a governor when he moved to privatize or at least offer tuition at the UCs in the University of California because it used to be free mm-hmm. in the, uh, up until the 70s nearly, the University of California nearly. was free yeah. Ronald Reagan's advisor very famously said and he, he worked for Nixon as well very famously said ensuring that everyone has a college education is going to have a serious is going to create serious problems in the future in the long term because you will have an educated working class which then will uh, be able to more effectively uh, communicate their demands more effectively fight back uh, and also will be harder to control and someone needs to still clean the toilets basically he didn't say that but I'm I mean here I, I have the quote it's we are in danger of producing an educated uh, proletariat that's dynamite. We have to be selective on who we allow to go through higher education. I think probably what they fear is that people with a higher education tend to lean more democratic. And, for, you know, for everything for them is just political points. So you have to keep people dumb and angry for them to vote Republican or that, nobody that's would. One, that's one nobody component. Nobody would ever. That's, that's certainly one component of it. But like I said, it's, it's because they're also worried about unemployment. Why are they worried about unemployment? Because the more educated people are, the less likely they are going to, you know, take janitorial positions, like positions that are profoundly important, however, um, easy to cycle through because uh, there's, a, there's a lower barrier of entry. There's not a lot of like skills you need to learn. You can learn it on the job. So these are seen as replaceable jobs, even though we consider them essential because they are essential. Um, if, if they are no longer seen as like easily replaceable, then, or if there is a, a lot of uh, shortages there, because a lot of people are now skilled, skilled laborers, um, all of a sudden you're going to have to pay them more, and you can't have or that. allow that immigrants hurts the profit in margin. Some shit, right? I mean, yeah. I mean that's a real thing, right? I mean, if you stop immigration, it stops a lot of these low-skill, entry-level jobs from getting filled. No. Well. Um, Immigration is, is, is certainly the way that like uh, both parties utilize uh, the, the permanent underclass. Like there is a there is a constantly refilling pool of undocumented labor that you can kind of use as a you can use and abuse and then and then cast aside when they ever uh, ask for like back pay or so, ever complain yeah, about yeah. like sexual harassment in the workplace. Right. There are many such examples of this. Like Purdue is one of the best examples that comes to mind the purdue chicken factory mm-hmm. like they purposely uh bake into their profit margins uh, uh they they seek after undocumented immigrants they go to undocumented immigrant communities they resettle them and then uh the moment that they ask for any sort of back pay uh because their wages are being stolen or better workplace safety conditions they call ice on themselves and then boom back to rehiring uh, that's cool yeah so they do that. That's, but, that's just good business. But of course, Tucker Carlson and other right-wingers will look to that and say, that's why we need to shut off uh, you know, our borders or whatever. But the real solution is not necessarily to stop immigration from happening. It's to streamline the process and ensure that undocumented workers are documented and are able to advocate for better workplace conditions and organize alongside the rest of the documented labor force. That's how you get a bigger piece of the pie not by trying to shut off the border because that's never that's never going to happen anyway yeah but i i just don't i have a hard time with that i mean i know these guys are like smart econ, ec, economists and shit and they went to harvard and all that and that's all impressive credentials but it doesn't make sense to me when you the so-called proletariat doesn't have enough fucking money to buy to consume any products that's like the second society part. Society fucking does not, our capitalist society does not function when people are so consumed by debt that they can't consume anything. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's what's going to be the downfall of this country is that, you know, the, the, the disparaging uh, amounts of wealth, basically, it's going to cause this country to stop being able to function. When people are too poor, they can't fucking buy anything. They can't support themselves. They can't do anything. And there's people just sitting on literal fucking hordes of gold like smog 
from Even, fucking Bill, from the goddamn uh, <clears throat> Hobbit, you know. Ethan, you're quite you're quite literally describing at least one component of a famous theorist whose name is Karl Marx. And, and this is this is my boy Smog the, right there, the, man. The falling you're you're describing the falling rate of profit and and profit's tendency to fall. Like right. that's that you literally described one component of that. But so it's just so it's such a basic humans. self-apparent thing that I I don't know if I'm missing something when all these think tanks, these incredible think tanks, these people who have PhDs from Harvard and super high institutions, they don't they don't ever take that into account. Or maybe no, maybe they, they do. maybe they do. Oh, no, they do. That's this is maybe this they, exact this thing that you're talking about is a part of it. Maybe they do, and what they consider like poverty is way, way, way is like you know, being able to stay alive, like feed yourself. That's like where they want you to be. Precisely. And not any higher than that. Yeah, they're they're just they're they're as profit as a consequence of technological achievements uh, becomes uh, the profit margins become narrower and narrower, um, and and uh, in order to do that, you have to exhaust your working class to make sure that you're not paying them too much, mm -hmm. um, because you have to make up for that profit somewhere. And without labor, there is no profit, there is no value. Um, what you look for is automation, and then what you look for is like different shortcuts of trying to make someone, make the average worker work more, right? Um, and in turn, you have less purchasing power. So when you, the average worker, have less purchasing power, then you can't sell the products that you're making to begin with. Who's going right. to buy the fucking products like you mentioned? Yeah. So it's this never-ending cycle of trying to figure out exactly how, how much you can starve out the, the working class without ensuring that they are so starved that they recognize that they're backed into a corner and have to fight back. Well, they're way off, bro, in terms of, like, where that bar is. But, you know, back, back to the student debt thing. I mean, $10,000 is obviously not a lot for most people with student debt in this country. But, you know, it's a good thing, and I'm happy they did it, obviously. And, and you know, it's a big relief to the people that need it most. Yeah, it's it's certainly a mechanism of control, though. I need to I need to mention this. Uh, I can't stress this enough. If you go to college, you're talking about student debt. Yes, you go to college to become a more productive worker, right? Across the board, everyone is doing that so they can become a more productive laborer. Your output is better overall, right? You're a skilled laborer. Your output's better. This, in turn, builds the economy. This grows the economy. This is a very this is a very good thing, right? Overall. It's so good that in other countries, they literally pay you to go to college in certain countries, right? right? Yeah. That's, that's, how, that's how much Scandinavia. people know. Yeah. yeah, that's how necessary education is. So, <clears throat> um, in America, however, they saddle you with debt so that even if you have improved yourself, even if you, if, even if you become a more skilled laborer by getting an education, right? They saddle you with debt so you just take on whatever fucking job you can right after college because you have to start paying is it, your student is, loan. Is it really a grand design or is it just like the natural consequence of unchecked capitalist greed? You know what I mean? Like I have a hard time thinking it's some grand design, but when things are going in the direction that people in power are comfortable with, they don't do anything to stop it. And it's like the, the schools charge more, more and more and more, and yet still if they, once they start looking at a business, they go, well, still we're getting more applications than ever turning away more people than ever our acceptance rate is lower than ever so they see these fucking psychos that are now running these these uh universities go well we can raise the price because there's so much demand yeah and i think i think <clears throat> that um it's just i don't i don't know that it's a grand plan but people are happy well, to let the it grand go that plan way. is capitalism they're just they're just engaging in profit-seeking behavior and it's normal for them to do this if you don't ascribe a moral value to it, then it's just capitalism. Of course they're going to do that. Businesses are going to do whatever the fuck they can to make more money. Colleges are businesses. That's, that's, so, that's where it gets so fucked up, is where these, you know, these, these universities were built and have this incredible reputation. You know, when, when my dad was young, me and Dan talked about this. Our dads are probably similar ages. Mm -hmm. My dad went through UCLA and paid it off with like a fucking part-time minimum wage job. 
Yeah, my dad was in the 70s. Huh. He went to UCSD, and yeah, it, I think it was right before uh, the change happened <laughs> that you were talking about. And yeah, I think he just paid like incidental costs. I think he paid just a couple thousand dollars to get a degree. That's why I love when and boomers. So, that's why I love when fucking boomers yeah. come out and they're like, "Why can't you just pay? You know why?" Why can't you guys stop eating the avocado toast? Yeah, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, okay, Grandpa. Like, it's, so, <laughs> it's so pathetic. But the thing is, like, these I, colleges I, built their this reputation, and I I don't think they would have ever become what they are if they were charging this shit from the beginning. Um, it's just it's insane. I don't know what's going on with that. It's just fucked up. And on the other hand, the government is so happy to give the least responsible people in the world, newly turned 18 year olds, sometimes 17 year olds, fucking unfathomable amounts of debt. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. People that can't even open a credit card because they have no fucking credit. And not only that, the interest rates, like when I had student loans, the interest rates were catastrophic. I'm talking one of them had like 11%. I mean, what kind of fucking help is that? I mean, they're also really fond of getting 18-year-olds. Uh, they're, they're, they're really fond of signing 18-year-olds yeah, in the contracts. The yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. The military. <laughs> That's but exactly it, how it operates. But isn't it great that like Visa's like, nah, dude, we don't trust you with a $100 credit card. You don't have enough credit. You don't have enough. Uh, you haven't proven that you're responsible enough. And then the government's like, here's $200,000 that you can never get rid of. Through yeah. even through bankruptcy. Yeah, no, that's 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 why I said it's by design because that debt <clears throat> makes you more servile. It's just the truth. Uh, just like um, there's an a there's an opportunity to make money, but it's it's just like it's doubly efficient, is what I'm saying. That's why the government doesn't actually uh, take serious uh, steps to to combat it. That's that was what I was saying is like right. the deliberate it's mechanism behind it. Um, same with it, same with employer based insurance. Like mm -hmm. you're not going to leave your job, even if you're unhappy, if your fucking like actual potential, uh, health is attached to it. It's just a way to keep you <coughs> working at the same job. Even if you hate it, uh, you have no, you have no way of like uh, making lateral moves, uh, ever because you're just terrified that if you lose your job, you lose your health care. Right. It's inhumane. It's right, gross. Right. Right. Um, <clears throat> so that's how, that's how this shit works. Yeah, but basically just to go back, I mean, it's, it, it's so demonic to even say such a thing as like, what about the people that paid their debt? It's like, do you really fucking, are you really comfortable saying that publicly? Like, listen to actually what you're yes, saying. Yes, they are. We don't want to help other people. Yeah, I period. Because, I on this, because this uh, you know, it's like, dude, what the fuck? And these are all religious people, too. Like, uh, cr that's a very Christ-like stance to take. Well, this guy did it, so we don't want to help anybody else. Yeah, I dunked on uh, this veteran uh, that runs the Code Vets account. Thanks for your account. service, idiot. Just did you, did you see that? No, I mean, that's, the, that's basically what I said. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to pull it up. It's yeah, like, pull it up. We uh, got Hassan Dubs. Let's pull yeah, it up. Code of Vets... Uh, it's it's on my profile. It's just I I quote tweeted it, and slammed her dumbass. Get ready, guys. We got Hassan Dubs on Twitter. I got Pull a couple. Up. I got a couple big ones yesterday. Oh, by the way, I want, I forgot to say at the top of the show, we have a yeah we have a pizza frozen pizza taste test because the song was stepping to me, continually saying that frozen pizza sucks, being classist as fuck. Yeah, eat saying it. why do you f eat frozen yeah. pizza? Well, we brought a bunch of frozen pizzas. And I even warned you yesterday, I said, save some calories, you fucking, <clears throat> you fucking. What, would, what, you use, it, use the term, you, you animal, you beast? No, I was going to say like, yeah, bro, you got, I, I don't know what to say. You can be healthy and also be like, I can take a bite of this pizza without ruining my week. You know what no, I mean? No, no, I just, I'm, I'm obsessive person. though. And I, I, cause I know like, uh, certain things just like break me. Yeah, but you're not getting out of this. I warned you ahead of time. No, I know, I know. I, I said, said I would do it. I said I would calories. do it. Calories. Are you, are you carve them out? Did you carve out calories for this? Uh, I just, well, I'm going to carve out calories later in the day for it. Yes. He has no pizza. I have a, I have a tactic what, for like it. What, like 500 calories? But here, here's, we, the, here's the dunk. Are we thinking 500 calories for this? or? Uh, I'm going to try to max out at 300. 300? I'm going to take like one healthy enough bite from each individual pizza. One bite, it's all it takes. You know the rules. Um, and, and my tactic is to like ensure that 
the total number of bites. I see a lot more pizzas down there. There's a lot. That's thought. what I'm saying. Like, There's, okay, well, well, well I well, thought we I could track the calories so that uh, I thought I could just like take one bite and it'd be like four pizzas. So then it would total like one singular slice. But I think it's going to be probably like around 500 calories. Or yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. Um, go ahead. Okay, so Code Vets tweeted out uh, this this dumb thing where she said, "I grew up in poverty in the mountains of North Carolina. I ate out of a garden." I lived in government housing, eh, already. Shopped at yard sales. I joined the Air Force, eh, earned my GI Bill. I attained four degrees and created my own version of the American dream. I am not responsible for your student debt. Why are you so angry? Shut up, bitch! I mean, good for, I'm you glad you- know you... why she's angry? Because this is exactly, she's right. <clears throat> the government institutes the fucking poverty draft on dummies like this. Okay, get them while they're young in the most like predatory ways that you could, uh, you know, create child soldiers. All right, I wouldn't. And then say that's dumb, the only way. No, it, it's because, it's gross. It's inhumane. They, it's the only way that the the, the army. Uh, that's their only opportunity a lot of times. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's the only way to get like everybody understands that education is the is the best way is the best method to get upward social mobility, and if education is is basically safeguarded or gate kept to the elite. To those who can pay, it's the true. only way you can get a fucking shitty communications degree and then you know start a 501c3 for veterans is by going and getting a communications <clears throat> degree after you fucking throw your body. I didn't uh, sell your I didn't, soul to the American government. I didn't fight in Iraq and see my friends blown up so that these hippies could have their fucking could get out of debt. Yeah. The one thing, by the way, that does make me sometimes wonder if it is a grand conspiracy: if college was affordable or free. Nobody would ever join the military. That's what I'm saying. Ever. And the military Nobody. already has recruitment issues right now because the number one reason why people joined the military was 9-11. Like, that's it. You can ask any recruiter. You can ask the military. They will <clears throat> tell you this openly. 9-11. Actually, we the, hear that a lot from, from military people on the show yeah, we talk to. Exactly. Know? People joined. There was a massive uptick of people joining the military after 9-11. And um, and in the absence of another 9-11, 9-11-2 electric boogaloo, uh, you know, you're not going to fucking, people are not going to want to join. So you have to find different ways. You have to go to, like, you know, uh, shitty neighborhoods, underserved neighborhoods. You have to find the kids with the bad grades uh, and, and try to try to suck them in by uh, telling them they could get a fucking Dodge Charger or Camaro or something. Uh, <laughs> if they sign their soul to the military industrial complex. So I said Americans shouldn't have to sell their bodies to the imperialist forces working at the behest of the military industrial complex to get benefits most countries offer to its citizens unconditionally, you fucking dumb troglodyte, is what I said to her. Yeah, I heard the army actually set up a recruitment booth at the uh, local kindergarten there. I mean, they, they were doing some really crazy shit on Twitch. Like, they were offering like fucking xbox controllers and shit to like 14 year olds you know, if they promised that they would like go xbox controllers yeah that's a good investment for them you know they kept trying to sponsor our show and we always said nah yeah but that would have been a juicy sponsorship because yeah. they got the chinese army in which case we will take it G. pop g <laughs> yo what if china's like i'll give you a mi i'll give you ten thousand dollars do it for china. ten dollars dude <laughs> fucking do it for 10. My loyalty, my loyalty is for sale, bitch. My loyalty is cheap, okay? <laughs> it's uh, as long as they build high-speed rail, a network of high-speed rail in the United States, oh my God, I'm doing it. Yeah, take, take uh, let's say, uh, uh, what's the fucking word? I barely slept last night. What's the word when you goddamn take someone's, con ugh. Yeah, he slept. He didn't sleep well last night. He didn't sleep well last night because he was thinking about all the, all the fucking kids that are going to be able to now not be saddled by twenty grand worth of debt. He was so mad. He was like, mm. <laughs> crying. I'm in bed. so angry. My I parents paid for my it. college education. Why can't yours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they get so angry. Just, dude, just like, why do you need it? What, what it is? I'm happy that something good is happening to you, right? Like, let's boil that down, and then, re and then, like, understand how fucking insane it is to even be publicly saying this. I'm mad that something good is happening for you. I mean, this is America, right? So there you have it. Um, but that is that is incredibly American. It's just like being deeply selfish. And and they don't uh, lose anything. Yeah, it doesn't even it's matter. Just other people get gaining. helped out a little bit. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. That's well, they, like, they say that they're going to be taxed more 
No, they're not. Result, right? Exactly. Yeah, like that, but that's what they're... I'm not saying that that's true. I'm no, but, saying but that the, that is... It's just, it's no, so because stupid. you're taking my money Their and giving it to the going up, people. This is already... This is debt. The government already yeah, paid debt. for it. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Shut up. Fuck you. Uh, and no, you know what's going to happen, though? Fuck you. Know you. Who's money suffer? is just... Money is like imaginary at this point. You I know mean. who's going to suffer? Refinancing companies and, you know, debt... You know, uh, debt... Uh, refinancing companies, like restructuring... Company, yeah, those guys are going to suffer a little bit, okay? Or the people that, like, work off of uh, securities in the same way that, like, they did in the mortgage, uh, in we the housing crisis. Them out. Like, people that securitize the debt and, and uh, bet on it defaulting, those people are going to no, suffer we, a little bit. No, we need bit. to help them. And, and that's the problem. It's, it's paramount like, that we help them. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. That's that. Um... I noticed you're wearing your friendship bracelet. I love that. I have mine here. I just, I don't like wearing hardware, so. Yeah, hardware. I'm just not my thing. No, it's cool. It's Any like, kid. if you, you know, you probably wear Jeff and Mike's bracelet, like, all the fucking time. No, I don't, bro. I would wear, I would wear this. Yeah, no, that sure, one. sure, totally. It's much more beautiful, by the way. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, come on, what's the fuck? And I Yo, got news for you. That means you're friends. Yeah. Um, Precisely. Yeah, so uh, anyway, well, there's so much more I want to talk about. Uh, let's see. Ron DeSantis has uh, fucking nightmarishly horrible ads. We've seen a lot of embarrassing ads. I love that one. On this show. And I, I, don't know if if conser I don't know if conservatives really have a monopoly on, like, the worst fucking ads you've ever seen. No, Democrats have some pretty bad ones, too. But... Uh, um, you know, it's it's America. American politics is is very <laughs> very bipartisan I mean, on find, this. Find it. I challenge you to find a Democratic nominee with a ad this cringy. They do it all the time. If I want to see it. I, then. I have I, right off the top dome. First of all, the Air Force vet shit is like the number one Democratic Party in a red state uh, move. Like I, they always. The Democratic Party loves like finding uh, a, a queer coded Air Force veteran, okay, <laughs> who is gonna who's gonna raise like seven gorillion dollars off of every wine mom in the country, and then lose by seventy eight points to like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> That's who exactly who even, I th was thinking yeah, of. Amy uh, Amy McGrath. There you go. I was trying to think um, of the name. Amy is McGrath. the person I'm talking about. Uh, but they do it all the time. They do the whole like I, especially when it's Air Force. It's like even uh, it blows my mind. It's like. I went and I laser beamed 17-year-old Pakistani children <laughs> in the Karengal Valley. Okay? So now I deserve to be here in this position. I'm, I'm more patriotic mm. than, than the guy across the uh, aisle from me. My it's like, eye, they don't my, give a shit. My eye was violently fucked oh, oh. by uh, Majid Hadeen. Now I demand. I wait okay, let me see this one. But it's not like two million views. Okay, I've never seen I this. I wanted to fly fighter jets and land on aircraft carriers because that's the toughest flying you can do. When I was 13, my congressman told me I couldn't fly in combat. He said Congress thought women. Yeah, because you're to be 13. And not <laughs> you're like, shut up, dumbass. You're 13. I never got a letter back from my senator Mitch McConnell. I then wrote every member of the House and Senate Armed Services Committees asking them to change the law. I said they just hadn't met me yet, and I knew I could do it. Ugh. But most of them told me I couldn't. She literally was then like, I, I was incredibly annoying. Academy, and wouldn't you know... You should vote for me because I was so annoying at the age of 13. I was like, I need to be able to serve. Women should be able to serve in the military as well. Wait, hold on. I want to see, see if this... I want to hear this, okay? Because I'm really going to do a comparison here. But this is a That's perfect comparison the to the DeSantis one. It's like Top Gun versus Top Gun. Yeah, so. but this is like, the difference is, of course, she's like actually Top Gun. Like, she did Top Gun shit, <laughs> which, in my opinion, is almost like kind of worse because, like, <laughs> so she's literally like, yeah, I flew some fucking drones over uh, a, a, you know, wedding in Yemen. Not a big deal. Let's, I may or may not have bombed the, the hospital in Kunduz. Under well, let, the let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm Amy McGrath, and I love our country. I spent 20 <laughs> years as a U.S. Marine, flew 89 combat missions bombing Al-Qaeda. Oh, yeah, like, she, that's yeah no, you're right. You're I right. fucking yeah. hate that. She did. I hate that she did. so much. Yeah, she killed civilians, lots of them. She's like, I killed <laughs> so many children. Yo, check out this fucking footage of me blowing up a wedding. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, go back, let me see that. <laughs> 
I was I was holding out some hope for her, but this no. shit's gnarly. She's like AC 130 incoming. Like, boop. Let, me, let me see her blowing up a uh, mosque. Good. 89 combat missions bombing out. Oh, this is the sick. Taliban. I was the you guys don't understand. I blew up the <laughs> Sudanese pill factory. Okay, <laughs> I did that. That let, was me, motherfucker. Wait, go back. Let Both me for me. Let me see her bombing a kindergarten in Iraq. And the Taliban. Yeah. I was the first woman. Marine that was an to accident, an by F-18 the way. Combat. Yeah. And so here's the other part of this, though. Pause for a second. <laughs> like, Americans, uh, I mean, this is a this is a chopo take, but whatever. It's it's true. Americans kind of understand that our military doesn't win wars anymore. So like, this kind of fucking rhetoric isn't even. Uh, this kind of rhetoric is not. It, it doesn't hit. Like it doesn't hit like it used to because there's no you can only real ride war, on the man. World War Two shit for so long. Right. Uh, the glories of World War Two for so long when. You're taking L after L after L with, uh, from dudes wearing fucking sandals. Like, no one's going to give a shit. They're, gonna, they're like, okay, shut up, loser. Who cares? Well, it appeals to conservatives, but not... not no, it doesn't. That's what I'm what? saying. What? Everything there. Well, I guess the, the That's conservative why I love like 78 is like points. shooting fucking... Yeah, what? but Mitch McConnell, I mean, come on. It's hard to beat the incantation of, of Satan himself. But here's the thing. Mitch McConnell is awful for his state, right? He's awful. Um... But the difference is, when you try and make it seem as though... Honestly, that's not that bad. Could have been worse. What? She she got... She got 38%. Got blown the fuck out, dude. Yo. By a guy who, like, barely goes back to the state. Oh, well, you know, that bitch can fly, and I... Well, yeah. she probably killed a bunch of fucking children. Whore. So, the that point, lesbian the point is never this. The point is this. Democrats have been doing this since John Kerry, since way before that. Like, they're like, we're the real patriots. It's like, no. The moment that they find you, like, windsurfing, it's over. They're going to say you're gay and no longer a patriot. Okay? Oh, swift boat, swift boat. John Kerry, swift boat. Like, boom. It's done. You, patriotism is, or at least the way that it's presented to the American public, is completely owned by the right wing. There is no such thing. You can never fucking out-patriot the right because they will turn around and say the n-word or something and be like whoa look at how patriotic that guy is you know what i mean i love it Le oh whoa bro that guy's got sith hands yeah he does yo the, that up. one at the top left is that real <laughs> Here, you that man know? is a sith you want to yeah he's like, wait he really lost. wait <laughs> he's a cadaver this man is dead how is this man's heart still beating? Dude, dude, dude. dude. What? Know, and he has he has why? one of those fucking tapes that closes tape wounds like a like an emergency the thing on his hand. Yeah. They you use those the fucking tape closed wounds, bro. Here, so I'll show heal. you I'll show you another thing. And you want to know why fucking Mitch McConnell is always going to be perceived as more patriotic? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm not getting over this. <laughs> okay, you keep I, you, you, while you're looking at this that, is I'm dark arts, bro. Here. This is satanic. <laughs> this man is clearly uh, a homunculus. He's been re re fucking animated. Do it. I put it in. A How distort. can they accuse Democrats of like satanic rituals when you have a man <laughs> walking around with black hands? <laughs> this is why Mitch McConnell here pulled that up. Yeah. Good. This is why Mitch McConnell will always be what? perceived as significantly more patriotic than anyone else you can put forward. My man. There well, it is, dude. Well, stars and bars, baby. There, there was lots of good men in the KKK, and they did a lot of good things for America. Shut up, you yeah. lesbian bitch. Who, who is yeah. this, by the way, that he's with? <laughs> Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember. Because I think it is somebody, like, really horrible. Yeah, 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 he is. Uh... This is a good... This is a true-blooded American. He He's known for slaughtering. Uh, um, by the way, go back to the hands. Okay. Do we know what condition causes this? No, I remember when it happened, everybody was very hush-hush about it, but uh, there was some speculation that... Like, what condition causes your hands to turn black? Old itis. When you would, like, reflect what? Force death. Lightning. Death. That's what I think rigor mortis. Yeah, AB said when you reflect uh, force lightning. Bro, God is giving you a sign, my man. It's saying fucking die. Okay? That's what God's saying. God's like, come on, bro. I'm trying to kill you. What the fuck are you doing in Congress? <laughs> no, I'm genuinely curious, though. This is wrong. Um, there's got to be a diagnosis for this. So I'm very curious. Hypertension, someone said. Diabetes. Yeah, that makes sense. SSIRs can cause that? Shut up, Jade. No, it doesn't. <laughs> My hands aren't black. Oh, they're trying to... I mean, maybe it does. I think they're making a joke. Wow. People saying it's Ligma. <laughs> 
What's uh, Ligma? <laughs> Ligma balls, dude. Oh, fucking, fucking duck. Got him. Destroyed. Yeah, Absolutely so, destroyed. okay, where were we? Those hands really threw me off. Uh, yeah, you got... We were getting to a DeSantis's ad. Okay, so wait, let me finish the Top, the top Gun. Yeah. Now I'm running for Congress against any bar in my home state of Kentucky. He's Mitch McConnell's hand-picked congressman who said he would vote enthusiastically to take health care away from over a quarter million Kentuckians. Mr. Barr, my mom is a polio survivor who became one of the first women to graduate from UK medical school. A lot of people told her she couldn't achieve her dreams either, but she persevered and ended up treating many of the same kind of people whose health care you and Mr. McConnell would take away. Hey. This is my new mission to take on a Congress full of career politicians who treat the people of Kentucky like they're disposable. Some are telling me a Democrat can't win that battle in Kentucky, that we can't take back our country <laughs> for my kids and yours. Oh, wait. Oh. We'll see yeah, no, that's why I said queer coded. I didn't, she, she's not. She's not? No, she's not a lesbian. Well, that, that woman's a lesbian. I also, swear. I have no idea. I, I no swear. Idea what a lesbian looks like, so. I, I know. I know what a lesbian looks like, and she's one of them. And but I, like, but, the, but what you're you're joking, but like that is literally what Mitch McConnell has to say to like immediately secure everyone in the state. You know what I mean? Like, oh, all right. Look uh, at women should have long hair. Uh, this yeah. is outrageous. You're really gonna hire this woman who has a, a short hair? Yeah, it's just like that's why you cannot out woke. You cannot out patriot the fucking right because patriotism is not what you think it is patriotism right. is not what you think uh patriotism is not what you what has been presented on television it's not look besides the clips of her blowing up iraqi soup kitchens <laughs> the, i think this one's worse <laughs> but let's watch a comparison well, and see. the the ad may be worse but uh the things desantis did in a different way are, are certainly just as evil. I'm going to pee while you play it. I, I already saw it, but I, I, I have a lot of thoughts. Don't, don't. Nah, just wait. We'll wait. I'll wait for you. No, I'll wait for you, Hassan. I'm yeah, not going to watch you without you. I'm not going to talk to myself. What Start, the fuck? Yeah, flock. Yeah, take the opportunity. Thank you, AB. Yeah, the the chat's been asking for the flock yeah, all flock. morning. Yeah, get it out now. Get it out of your system. What the hell are we going to do without flock? <laughs> <laughs> flock what? You got some other good ones in there, You right? guys like my Remix? Mitch McConnell accent? I've been doing the fuckers all night. You're what a fucking Weasley little fucker, dude. <laughs> nah. Do you like my Mitch McConnell though? This woman is clearly a lesbian. Dude, you had me down. It's decent. Was, it's pretty, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. You think it's pretty good? Oh, it's good. It's good. Listen, I, when I when I was three, when I was fifteen, I met Satan, and I told him, "Give if I can become a powerful politician, you can have my soul." And so from that day on, I actually died at thirty. My corpse has been re reanimated by Satan himself. My note would be like, "You're a little too alive." Like he he's a little more he's a little more dead in Can you play a clip of him? Sure. Yeah, let me hear it. Especially nowadays small Mitch McConnell, he doesn't have a lot of energy. Talk about fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you did some good preparation, uh AB. Yeah, no, That's he's nice. stepping up, stepping uh, up with the Fuck! <laughs> That's good. I like I like the direction, man. <laughs> Zach might have to keep that going. Um after he gets black. Oh, he's punching the air right now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of. Do you think Zach's gonna erase the flop? Oh, in the database? my own soundboard just for flop. Yeah, you. That's it. You can build your own flop. A, that's flop even, a database. That's even worse. This is gonna be. You're starting to. You're planting the seeds of a Weasley little flock, dude. <laughs> you're planting the seeds of rebellion right now in Zach. Rebellion's reborn today. <laughs> Zach is gone, so AB's been taking over sound bites. Uh. And he struck on a really powerful one, which is the Flocka meme, which yeah, everyone's, Flocka. everyone's enjoying. And we I wonder if that. Zach is going to be pissed about it. Here, show me a video of Mitch McConnell real fast. I'm just seeing if my impression is good or not. Responds. I'm just, what Mitch a McConnell fucking responds weasley to, little Flocka, now, it, now, it's a wife's duty to, to suck their husband's cock at any time. There's been a lot Doesn't of discussion matter. about the events There's, of the last couple of right, days. Right, it's I'd like to address it myself. I'd love to address it by pro. Oh, yeah, I got it now. Yeah. That More like cotton it, mouth, it, too. It, it, it's yeah, you got to talk like this. It's, it's, it. every, it's every wife's duty to suck their cock any time they want. Every, That's the whole point of marriage. Every time McConnell speaks, you got you to gotta really hit the gullet because he's nasty. <laughs> 
Who yeah. is Nussie is flapping his gums. My Nussie is feeling, it's very tight. And when I put lubricant on it, you'll think it's a real, a real young, tight pushy. It's flapping in the wind <laughs> like the sails of my yacht. I, I, let, I like to let Donald Trump rub his cock on my Plussy. Hey, man. What is a Plussy? My, my Nussie. My Nussie. Neck pussy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Waddle, they call that the Waddle, too. Yeah. Wussy. My Wussy. All right. I feel like with that, you can hit, like, way different slurs. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like a thing that, like, old racist white guys can do. You can hit certain frequencies. Yeah, you can hit, like, a different, <laughs> like, while tickling your Nussie, you yeah. can hit, like, a different slur that no one else could. That's how they, that's actually how they figure out who's going to be the next Grand Wizard. Mm. <laughs> it's something they do at the, uh... Yeah. The Federalist Society. You have so hits the racist. Yeah. Uh, it's like how yeah, they, like you haven't earned your wings yet. <laughs> this is how Mitch McConnell applies to the uh, Federalist Society. He goes. <laughs> Fun fact. I mean, this is true. This is real. That's real. That's how it works. One hundred percent real. Federal Society just got one point six billion dollars. By the way, the Blah. largest indi largest individual contribution one point seven billion dollars. Who got that? The Federalist oh, Society. Geez. Oh, good. Would they need? That's good. Yeah. Do we know who, where they got that? Yeah, where? some old Jewish dude with no children. Uh, Said, I think his oh. name is the guy who. Hey. Owns. The Jews. Why have you done this? The guy, the <laughs> guy who owns. Why, why have you done this? <laughs> <laughs> he just likes it. He just rides. He just rides for fucking Christian supremacy. This I don't is know. not good, man. Back yeah. it up. Uh, micro. Uh, what, what the fuck is the? It's like some electronics company. Is yeah, how he, he, became he, rich, he literally right? just like took over his electronics company. S shifted it over to a, uh, you know, in order to avoid paying, uh, like nearly half a billion dollars in taxes on it, mm -hmm. he took over the electronics company that he owns 100% and shifted it over to a nonprofit, uh, and then and then shifted that over to uh, Leo, our boy at the Federalist Society. Mm. So now he has 1.6 billion dollars. Here's Mitch McConnell applying for a uh, Grand Wizard of the Federal Society. Black people need to uh, pick themselves up by the bootstraps. Yeah. Well, the, it's the problem with the black community. Watch out, Ethan. Uh, you're, you're, you're too good at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's play, let's play um, Ron DeSantis' Top Gun ad. You want me to play it? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, wait. This is my screen. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Top Gov. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your governor speaking. Today's <laughs> training evolution. This is worse. This is worse. No, it is. It's just like it's so much campier on not on purpose. Oh no, it is on purpose. These are all theater kids. No, <laughs> no. Like an arts program could hey, solve. You're this. insulting Ethan with that. He's he's a theater kid. No, I know. No, I'm not. Like, I never took a theater class in my life. <laughs> Bro, I've seen those sketches. Okay, you're a theater, you're a theater kid. kid. I but never took a theater. And by the way, what's wrong being a theater kid? Wait, right what do you mean? Oh, There's nothing wrong see? with being a theater kid. You express But you just your... telling me something I'm not. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you're well, a little defensive. Yeah, you're getting a little too defensive there. I think you definitely are a theater kid, but um, sorry, but like, I like to pr I like to dress up and play pretend every once. Well, but there's while. nothing wrong with that. You just you have a healthy outlet for it. Okay, you do it. You do sketches. You do stuff like that, and it's funny and it brings people joy. This motherfucker, on the other hand, has that. Can't do it because like, oh, I, I'm not gay. I being a theater kid would mean that I'm gay, so I can't do that. So then. <laughs> It like builds this like pent up frustration from but not having the created it, the adequate creative outlet. I so disagree good. with you because it doesn't look like he's having fun. He looks like totally serious. He's not even trying to portray a human being. He's portraying like a fucking like a again a reanimated corpse of uh, Satan's. The Watch, I mean the, the acting is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your governor speaking. All right, speaking. let's just watch it. Today's training evolution, dogfighting, taking on the corporate media. The rules of engagement are as follows. Number one, don't fire unless fired upon. But when they fire, you fire back with overwhelming force. Can you pause for a second? Like... This is, this is incredible because, like, he, he nails it, right? Like, the American couch potato consciousness has only one... Like, the only way that you can show in the American couch potato consciousness, like, your act of bravery is by what? Fucking yelling at the media? That's it? That's what he's, like, equating, like, being a br That's brave Air Force be veteran to? This is stolen valor, brother. How fucking dare you, sir? Yeah, you never even blew up a fucking Iraqi grocery store. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. Like, you know, kill a couple children and then we'll talk. Right. Well, he killed a bunch of people in Florida, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, his that's his death toll is probably higher than hers. Yeah, that's true. All right, but here my favorite part's coming up. Like, They're back with overwhelming up. force. Does it say that in the bill? This, this this is his attack with overwhelming force. Is him going? Does it say that in the bill? Yeah. It's like, owned. Oh. Owned. What the fuck, dude? But down to the sass. This is so Trump. Like this, So Trump is like incredibly sassy. He's a media demon. That's why I love him. Obviously, greatest president of our generation, of our time, possibly of all time. Um, but Ron DeSantis is like trying to be. I said this earlier on my stream too, but like he's trying to be Cardi. Like he's trying to be Trump. He's trying to do a Trump. You will never be Trump. Cardi. Yeah, like Playboy Cardi. Is that a say? Is that a thing that you should? Yeah. Yeah. Trying just, to be like Cardi. Yeah. He's trying to be Cardi. Okay. You heard it here, guys. Uh, let's watch this. I'm asking you to tell me what's in the bill. Number two. Overwhelming force. Two. Never, ever back down from a fight. I love if I could it. complete the question. By the way, the same press conference. No. It seems like. So you're going to give a speech or ask a question? Oh, never back down from a fight. I said, I love this guy's it. a scrappy fucking dude, man. Yeah, he bold. Never him. backs down. But this is this this works though because like yeah, if you're like a 75 year old retired you know uh, fucking police chief or whatever that's now living in Boca Raton, you're like, yeah, that's right, that's perfect. Yeah, he doesn't back down. That's why I like him. He give, he sticks it to the man. The man is uh, liberal media. That's I'm it. Come. That's the one thing they have. That's how Trump was popping too. So that's what DeSantis is trying to do as well. I'd, I'd be more impressed if I knew if he blew up a single family home in Iraq. Yeah. Well, he didn't do it. He's, he's this is stolen coward. valor. He's a coward. It's fucked up. Number three, don't accept their narrative. It's wrong. It's a fake narrative. I just. No matter what. Disabused you of the narrative and you don't care about the facts. It's why people don't trust people like you because you have a false narrative. All right. Ladies so what's and up? Like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, I mean. There's two angles to this, right? On the one hand, you're like, oh, I, you know what I look for in a guy that I want to vote for for governor? A guy who's yelling at the sassy. fucking TV. He's like, gets, a he guy does, who's yelling he at the TV. sassy press conferences. He's the man. But also, because we are so far removed from, like, legitimately enacting any sort of, like, political, uh, political interest, because we're so far removed in the American electorate from, like, actually demanding our politicians do anything. Yeah, it does reduce to, like, is this guy just like me? He is just like me. I yell at the TV when I'm watching it, and I say, oh, CNN, Clinton News Network, and he's doing it on the TV, yelling at the TV people. So that is kind of, like, very uh, impactful. It's, it's, you know, he knows his audience. He knows his target audience, and he's reaching them this way. I guess so. Let's jump up on Bro, don't put your kid in a fighter jet. I mean, yeah, that one's way worse, in my opinion. No, that's age-appropriate, dude. <laughs> All right, so the pizza's getting cold, so we better move on to that. Oh, God, okay. It's getting dried out, and I do need um, <laughs> it at peak performance to get a get an accurate read from you. Uh, but one other thing I want to... While they're setting that up, I want to show this picture. Here's DeSantis uh, pretending to be a, a real human being. Check him out. Just stand, just two dudes standing. <laughs> just two dudes being two dudes. Just man. Normal, look normal, at, normal hand placement, normal arm placement. Guy. What this, the frick? Look how natural he is, man. He's a real dude right there, boy. Yeah. Is this part of him trying to emulate uh, Trump's style? Because Trump, I think so. Trump has powerful By the way, standing it, ability, too. While they're bringing out the pieces, <laughs> if you want to see what a, what a fucking conservative theater kid looks like, I present to you Clay Higgins. Uh, this mm. is. Have you guys ever seen this on the show? I don't show? think so. This is a classic, dude. He goes to the Holocaust Museum. I got it, Dan. Oh, you got it? Yeah. All right, let's see. This is one yeah. of my favorite oh. videos of all time. Clay Higgins is is a theater kid <laughs> with a lot of, like, uh, suppressed theater kid energy that manifests itself in this way. Let's take a look. Railroad anywhere, right? Except for this one's at Auschwitz. Birkenau. The expansion of Auschwitz, where four more large gas chambers were built. They could murder 2,000 people at a time. On these rails. Oh, wow. Those poor He's got B-roll. <laughs> he has B-roll, bro. I'm telling <laughs> you. I don't want to know where this is going. Over Europe. Death to all. As many as oh, Keemstar, not now. No, bro. Keemstar. No. That is so fucked to say no, that it, now. There's just something so incredibly <laughs> funny about, like, this fat-headed man, okay? 
who is Wait, who I, used I don't to even know cop. where it's going yet. You just watch, but like I, I'm dying to know he's how like, he's, he's got his phone camera up to his face because they probably Jews. told him he can't fucking film like that. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. No, so filming. he's like secretly filming himself, <laughs> trying to be pensive and thoughtful with the build up to the one of the greatest moments I think in, in I'm history. I'm just I'm dying to know how he connects Auschwitz and the Holocaust to American politics. Oh, just fucking wait. Dude. Twenty twenty five percent of them dying on the train. Cause sometimes the trip was seven, eight, ten days. Had no food or water. Mm-hmm. Eventually, Keemstar hates the Jews. Stop. Those who survived the Keemstar, this is not fucking appropriate. You can you can time. move it a little bit forward. Uh, you can you can skip a couple steps here. Uh, I see and, this and is where it like turns the, the pop inside. I see this is where people watch. So, uh, oh yeah. my God, dude, what the fuck? Did this guy win? Just tell me that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's in he's oh, he did? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's okay, one of my okay. favorite he's probably my favorite American congressperson. Okay. Good to know. I'm fascinated by him. Oh, freeze frame? Zoom? Bro. Slow zoom? Bro, he's got dude, look at the fucking face. He's wait. Right up in his face. Wait, wait, hold you on. No, they told him you where can't he film in this? here, bro. <laughs> That's three hundred thousand views. Did he where did he run this? It was just a video he made? Just, just keep going. All right, all right. I think all right, it's like right, when he's right. in the gas chamber where he pops off, like, like he just oh, says no. some insane. He goes echo, echo. No, echo. no, 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 no. He's oh. not. That's what makes it. That's what makes it funnier. Like he's so, he is so serious, right? Wait, where is the message? Most replay part. I think that's it's where right, it is. There's, there's right here and a little bit further. Here, play that, play that part. It might be this one. Cyclone B. Actual cans. Turn it up. Used to kill 1.1 million. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, at, at, at this that, at okay. that one. I was at that like, whoa. Yeah, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. He's, he's not doing Holocaust <laughs> revisionism. He's not. Here in Auschwitz. He said it would squeeze 700 people in here. Oh, this is it. This is the one. The guards would drop Zyklone 5 cyanide gas. From above. This is hatches. sick. I mean, he's doing, he's doing, he's yeah. doing Holocaust uh, awareness. Whoa. No, 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 just wait. But no, how is, does this tie in? How does this tie into like? This is really Higgins important video time. he's doing. I think it's good that people learn about this. Never again. And this even more specifically, it's the Jews. Oh God. Gordon. Can we not at this time? This is a serious okay. moment of okay. reverence. Uh, when. They hit oxygen. After about 20 minutes, everyone was dead. And then slave labor would go into the room and drag those, the bodies of those poor souls out and bring them and incinerate them in these ovens. Jesus Christ. There were. I think this is it. Three sets of ovens like that. This is why Homeland Security must be squared away. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's right! Wait, I got to that again. Dude, you missed it. He, got, he did a brief pause. I got to He did a pause that. after the oven thing, and he was like, now, now it's time to pop off. <laughs> I'm Clay Higgins, and I got a message for America. This is why Homeland Security must be squared away. <laughs> security? Homeland Security. What, like against like Mexican immigrants? I mean, that's what, just what he's just saying. Like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, America's homeland security is is supremely important. <laughs> what? Because otherwise, the Holocaust will happen to but America. It, it, if Holocaust is going to happen in America, it's going to be homeland security that throws people in the yeah, oven. No, well, he's talking about like Zeitlon. Well, maybe he likes the Holocaust. No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he's like, yo, how dare you? How dare you take like, that back? Play well, I don't, I don't know how else you interpret that. Single teardrop falling down. Yeah, no, I don't know how else to. Yeah, for the Nazis, because he's sad they're gone. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. He's like, no, he, yo, this shit, we can do this shit. Yeah, if no, we fund that, Homeland that's Security. The, the funniest part about it is like, I mean, the darkest part about it, at least, is like he's talking about Zyklon B, right? Yeah. And and that is like, you know, a chemical agent. You can bring that, the pizzas out, Sam. Chemical agent that was used in the Bracero program, which was like, uh, kind of the the underpinnings or the architecture for literally that and segregation in the South was like.
something that Hitler looked at and was like, that's pretty good. Right, like, we right. should do that in Germany. He did it. Um, we learned it from you, Dad. Yeah. So, like, him talking about Zyklon B in that respect and then turning around and being like, that's why Homeland Security is so important is is a, a hilarious juxtaposition. But the reason why I showed this to you is because Clay Higgins is a rugged guy. He's a tough guy. He's a sheriff, right? And he has a lot of videos from back when he was a sheriff, like, where he would have, like, uh, all of his, his units sit there with, like, you know, hundred grand worth of equipment and be like, we're coming after you. And he would like call him out by name. Uh, and, and that is like repressed theater kid energy, which I really love when it manifests itself in this like wonderful, uh, it's kind of interesting cause he could pretty much say anything after this, like three minutes of horrific uh, concentration camp footage is like, and that's why we need to subsidize corn. <laughs> no, yeah, he's like, that's why we need tort reform. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, America's that's, greatest threat is the <laughs> is the lawyer, the and, big lawyer and, lobby. And this is why we need to cut corporate tax rates. <laughs> the ovens like that. Oh, I want to see a little bit more. Sam, you did you hear me? Yeah, uh, okay. we we have like a we have a stinger. We got a whole intro. Okay, okay, so okay, okay. When, when you're ready, right, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll security must be square. Uh, I just want to hear where this goes. Why our military must be. Invincible. <laughs> it was the military that did this. You understand that, right? Yeah, no. It's... This is the. Okay, whatever. Wow, what a psycho. <laughs> All right, I let's do that. our pizza segment here. Uh, th let's just be two cool dudes like these two guys here. Absolutely. Hell yeah. All right, Ian, when you're ready, take All right, it away. Let's do it. Okay, I, I see that that's the regular gloves microwavable pizza. Mm -hmm. Not microwave. You put it in the oven, dude. Dude, you're such a fucking classes, dude. Grow up. Yeah, no. I'll show you the brands that I really like of frozen pizzas. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to my pizzeria, son. My son is 7% Italian, so... Uh, this, is, this is what happens when you have a $7 billion studio. All of a sudden, boom, 20. magically, we're in a different, we're in a different set. Did, welcome to my pizzeria. Uh, today, I have a fine... Diet, right? no, I'm what? Not, I'm not having a bit. Oh, I can't drink non-diet either. Wait, really? I'll take, I'll take a sip. I'll take a splash. Today I present you with my finest uh, pairing of my old fine Mountain Dew. Please oh. have a sip. Mm. Mm. Pizza is actually very nutritious. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Chianti. Ah, you can taste the. Uh, you can really taste the earthy flavors and the. The yellow seventeen. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a good. It's got an oaky undertone. You can really taste the um, the timber. Oh God, that looks terrible. Oh God, well, the only they're not fresh. First okay, of all. the only thing you asked me was whether I eat pork or not, but you didn't ask me if I I don't eat dog seafood. shit. I don't eat seafood. There's no seafood. What do you? Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, Wait, I, why don't you eat seafood? Just first preference. Of all, yeah. Also, yes, you are insane because this entire thing that we're doing is insane. Well, you haven't even tasted it yet, you classist pig. Yeah. Your Dude, head, I'm putting your head pizza, in the guillotine. Pizza across the board is the, is the you know, sustenance of the proletariat. Having Bro, it pizza's be, expensive, dude. Having it be frozen or uh, delivered uh, from Domino's is not going to change the price point all that much. All right. Stop talking shit and let's start eating. Um, <clears throat> so can you, so let's do this one first, okay? Can you guys show which one it is? I believe that is the uh, California Pizza Kitchen white pizza. Can you here. show the box, please? Uh, I'm I'm holding it up. There we go. California. Now this is a good brand. I like California Pizza Kitchen frozen pies. They do pretty Boo, good. Foxy PK. Go ahead and grab a slice, please. It's on. And take a take a bite, a, a fair bite. You know, one bite. You know the rules. Cheers. Let me see the size of that bite. There you go. That's fair. Don't pretend like that's bad. It's an unorthodox pizza. It has the consistency of cardboard. That's what it's been sitting out. Pretend that it's fresh. Okay. It still has the consistency of card. I'm pretending it's fresh. Pretend harder. Okay, do you want me to be honest or do you want me to just like say it's good? <laughs> no, be honest. Okay. 
Um, but a lot of sure. garlic. Yeah, yeah. A lot of garlic. Mm-hmm. Um, That's good, right? Indiscernible, uh, the weird green stuff, which I assume is spinach. Yes, that is spinach. I love, mm, I love frozen spinach on on uh, topped on globs of like weird white cheese things. I, I'm a fan of white. I mean, I, what I, is a pizza? Look, you get your glasses, bro. I, I'll have a white pizza every bro. now and then, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not against it. I'm not completely against it. But I will admit, I'm the that, expert on this. I worked at California Pizza Kitchen for five years, so um, uh, it is uh, spinach, garlic, ricotta, mozzarella. Parmesan, Romano, Ricotta. and Asiago cheese. He has no pizza experience. Over that's a a, that's creamy garlic sauce. All right, let's move on then. This one's an F. I get it. It's fine. What did you? What did you? Wait. What do you grade it? I, I mean, I, I, okay, let's not yeah, do the yeah, American. No, let's not, not do the American. Favorite. Let's do like a one out of ten. It's not my favorite. One out of ten. Obviously, one bite. You know the rules. <laughs> I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a three. I give it a five because really, it, it's said? not fresh. But for me, that's that's good enough to enjoy. Now this is the um, barbecue chicken pizza. What's this one? Uh, I believe that's also. Can you queue up the boxes? Oh, this uh, one's got a. This one is also California like, Pizza Kitchen. This is like, their barbecue. Ooh, it's got. Okay, so first of all, do you like barbecue chicken? Uh, no. Okay. I I do like barbecue chicken, not on pizza. But that's just me. I'm a I'm a buffalo chicken pizza fan from New Jersey. But I will say this. Um, first scent. It does have a a uh, you know. Shoe left at the uh, locker. No, it doesn't. My seat is all over the barbecue sauce. Display. There is a... The barbecue sauce does have a foot, like, uh, scent to it. That's a lie. Okay, I'm going to take another... I'm going to take a bite. <laughs> I'll give you a little dainty little bite. It's not fresh. The cheese is so leathery. Oh, it's not. It literally doesn't... T- like... Oh god, that looks terrible. That, that one doesn't one. look good. I agree. No, that one looks horrible. Um, what do you give this one? Um, uh, a four. Better. We're improving. Uh, better, but still somehow worse. <laughs> <laughs> and what you do know, you give it, Ethan? For me, honestly, I'll give it a five again. It's hard to really enjoy it. So it's basically stale. I see. Point. I see really what you're doing. Even. I see. What you're you're gonna you're gonna keep saying it's stale on everything. To it defend. is though. I mean, I'm pretty sure even if this was like fresh out of the oven, it would still be pretty, pretty bad. Dude, Dave Portnoy even did a review of Amish Pizza, and he gave it like a seven. He said this shit is insanely good. Is this what we just well, had? What is this one? No, that was the, Trader Joe's. As a matter of fact, the next one is Amy's Pizza. He gave this a seven, Dave no, Portnoy. No, not this one, the margarita, which we'll get to. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it real. If Dave Portnoy said the brand that gave us this green shit <laughs> got a seven, okay. First of all, at least it's like spongy. the The crust is like kind of spongy. It's different than the other ones. The other ones just look like uh, dried out tortillas that you, you know, put slabbed a little bit of fucking, uh, you know, sauce on. This at least has like a thicker uh, crust, so I. It's not necessarily a good thing. I do, I do value that. I'm gonna do something unorthodox here. I'm gonna try a bite from the backside here. Oh, because I want to see what the crust uh, tastes okay, like. Go ahead. So again, this does look like shit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, that tastes like cafeteria pizza. That's not good. No, no. You know, okay, Amy's. Oh, it's a spinach pizza. That's why it's so. Oh no, that one. That that's a no no. That's it's a no-no? No. Oh, no, no, no. Well, give it a rating. <laughs> it's not that bad. Stop it. Zero. Zero? You, you said one to ten. Drama queen, dude. What do you mean? It's fucking disgusting. It's uh, edible. It's more than edible. I'm, I'm putting this. Zero. in Africa could have eaten these slices. Okay, well, you knew I was not going to eat these, so. Okay. So You're far, fine. not good. Can okay. I put this the trash? One is, can I put one... the dispose the trash on it? Okay. This one's a four. Four not for you? Good. It's not. That's a four? Yeah, I'm not a fucking, uh, I'm not a fucking elitist pig, dude. <laughs> you're, you're I'm a proletariat salt of the earth. I'm a working <laughs> class hero. Lying. Look at his hat. Who, who cooked these? This looks like dog shit. Easy. Sam cooked them, and they have, this. and they have been sitting there for, in the, Sorry, in the warmer Sam, but, for an hour. Is this Amy's as okay. well? Because I'm noticing a trend. It's it, a, it's a Amy's. spongier crust. This one is also Amy's. This is their margarita pizza. This is the one Dave liked. Okay. Yeah. So scent wise, right off the bat. Out of everything that I've smelled so far, this one resembles the closest to a New York slice scent on scent alone. If you, if I close my eyes and you put this in front of me, it literally feels like 
it smells like a New York pizza place if it was like three blocks away. You know what I mean? Like it's there's a subtle, there's like a subtle uh, uh, feel of it, a subtle taste of it. Um, okay, I'm diving in. Isn't that just darling? Dave gave it a six point four for the 6. record. Six point four. Six point four. A lot creamier, mm -hmm. a lot creamier, but in a good way. Mm. The cheese is not as leathery. The quality of the cheese is a lot higher, I think, on this one. This is edible. I'm telling you, if it was fresh. This is the first time. I mean, it's still warm. It's not that bad. Come on, man. This is the first time. Somebody taste this pie and just tell Hassan how much better this shit would be. Okay. But well, he doesn't trust me, apparently. Okay. I don't know why you're getting so upset. <laughs> because this is about pizza, Hassan. You personal. may not be aware, but this is, this is a big part of Ethan's. Okay, that one is actually meat. good. I'll give it a five. All right. Okay. That's a five. It from still doesn't come near like a legitimate, genuine, authentic uh, New York pizza slice. Honestly, I also give it a five. I didn't find it. Oh, good. interesting. Surprising. We have some convergence. You on gave the it up. You get no. You're fucking. Your your metrics are all out of whack. You gave that spinach shit a four, and then this a five. Fuck your mom. Yeah. How about that? That's I, I like crazy. The spinach one. That's cr oh. This nasty. is all edible to me. Okay. No, but like. It being edible this is should all not good, be bro. your only metric for. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Okay, this Packer looks legit. Is mad. Pizza's like sex. You know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, this one is Trader uh, Joe's or when, when it's good, Giotto's. it's great, and when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Woo! Sex average. Um, we have sex. Organic three cheese pizza uh, from Trader Joe's here. Bring that on over. Okay, here. I'm gonna get the okay. greasiest slice. Here you go. But I will say I'm proud of you. You're taking you're taking a respectable bite, so that's that's all I could ask. Okay, this one does not have the prior scent of like the garlicky, the the garlicky uh, scent that you can like you could like in the previous pizza that I had. It, you could, I knew that it was a pizza. This is, this could be anything. It doesn't smell like it. It just smells like kind of like cheese. I like don't smell pizza. Yeah, it doesn't smell like it pizza no, at all. It has no scent. I hate, I don't like it. It's a horrible. What the freak? That's horrible. It's all right. It's better than the other ones that I've what had. What the freak is wrong with it? Not the last one, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a I'll give it a four as well. Wait, not good. You're saying it was horrible? It's a four? Yeah, because I'd still <laughs> eat it. I still eat all of it. <laughs> all of yours. You've given everything a five or a four so far. That's what I'm saying. I could never rate a pizza of lower than four. And four is like. The four is your zero. Five is. I like do know what you mean, me. though. Pizza is like sex. Like even if it's bad, you're still having sex. Pizza's even if like it's bad, sex. you're still having. Pizza. I put my dick on it. Woo! Before I eat it. Woo! <laughs> All right, this one is also Trader that looks Joe's. Good. Okay, this is trying too hard. But this one is a no. little try hard. Yeah, this is a roasted garlic and pesto pizza. Bro, look at with the crust on this. Deep fried crust. This looks good as shit. Yeah, oh, deep what fried crust. Yes. Wait, it's, all, it's also Trader Joe's, but it's like their fancy one. Cheers. This one, this one looks interesting. Yeah, the, it, it's got. It's got like a little glob of pesto in the top here. I'm gonna try the deep fried crust though. I have to. I must. Mmm. Mm. Like this is well, like having. I imagine it's fresh though. It's pretty fresh. This one's pretty fresh. Okay. The cheese is like hard. You know what I mean? I'm I mean, into this. This is like having. It's so greasy. It's greasier than the other ones. Yeah. Definitely. This is like having a reheated garlic bread. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? That's that just pretty good. That's what it tastes like. It's like it was garlic bread at a certain point, but then like someone reheated it. <laughs> and the consistency of it is like Yeah, I don't know. I just rating. It's not great. Uh three and a half. Whoa oh my god, bro. We are not on the same page. What do you? What do you? What did you rate it? It's a five. I'd crush it all. Okay. <laughs> Can I you hand me that coffee? About it. <laughs> Thank you. Everything's five. Uh, your scores are in a very narrow range here, Ethan. I can't help but if notice. Five is, but is where I bottom out. I'm just being honest. Okay. No, you said four was where you bottom out. <laughs> four was like that was an outlier. That one They're really running disappointed pizzas me. in here. There's like there's like a constant <laughs> back and forth pizza running operation. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, this one. Uh, also, oh, dude, another come barbecue on. chicken. This that is another barbecue like chicken, dude. It? What the fuck? That you know what this looks like? This looks like pigeon meat that you would get at like fucking halal guys. You know what I mean? Which is delicious, <laughs> by the way. Nice, I'll still yeah. fucking eat that shit. But it's like browned out. It is like the most. Oh God, you can't. Who? Which one is this? This one looks horrific. I'm okay, it lie. hit Trader me, Joe's barbecue chicken. It hit me right in the face. Like it, I got a waft of onion. Okay, I, I think it's undercooked. I'm just saying. Who cares what you believe? <laughs> Forever the critic, Ethan. I just I can't. It is, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Quit I, I have a you. lot riding on this. That's Quit a three. You. And I'm just saying. That's a that's a, a two, not a three. It's a two. Oh, it's a four. Why? It's bad. And that's a four for Ethan. Okay. It's oh. very bad. It's not. All right. Disgusting. I gave this finished one a zero, right? Uh, yes. I want to maintain, like, I want to make sure that there's integrity in my, in my, uh, uh, you know, in my process here. You're, you're kind of all over the place. You're giving everything what? fours and fives. Like, I'm trying to make sure that the range honest. is adequate. Cut them off. The only thing we've learned from this is that you'll just eat anything if it's pizza. Well, they, yeah. <laughs> we already knew that. <laughs> but I'm just being honest. Like, these are all very edible pies. All right, that well, I would destroy without a second thought. The next one, this one's kind of an outlier. This is probably the the fanciest one. Am I reading that correct? Does that say prosciutto? Yes, and arugula oh. and uh, oh. bring it out. It's, Thank you, Sam. Technically, it's it says it's a flatbread, not a pizza. But oh yeah, I feel that like it qualifies. Good. Prosciutto. Frozen fucking prosciutto hold and arugula. Hold on, hold on. This looks good, bro. Dude. This is literally like having caviar pizza, but it's like frozen. You know Sorry, what I mean? Not beautiful. It's very. Soggy, That's a fat though. one. I'm That's a fat one. Soggy. Well, because it's it because they tried too hard. They tried too hard. And it's not even like okay, this flatbread is supposed to imply that it's like at least a little. The crust is supposed to be a little it's hard. It's soggy. It's old. Yeah, this is. I am not touching that prosciutto because that is like. Oh, that's key. That that's is key literally ingredient. that Looks prosciutto. Like roast beef. That problem? prosciutto has turned into uh, it, it's it's basically hard. Ugh. It's like red and hard. You didn't like it, huh? You sons of bitches. Yeah, you got to get from the middle. That's right. <laughs> oh, come on! It's not that bad. Oh, stop it! Fuck you, son of a Such bitch! Such a prude. <laughs> That no, that I could not. swallow it, but I'll be honest. I'm you gonna give it. You swallow it? Okay, that one's a zero, by the way. Another that one, zero? I'm gonna give a three. And fuck you. Whoa, which is my lowest like rating it. yet. That is your lowest rating yet. Wow. That's a zero. That was not good. What did we learn from this? We learned don't I... try too hard. The margarita pizza is fine. Um, can I get a napkin too? Beta. Is there any? Don't give him a napkin, Olivia. Yes. Uh, the the Amy's margarita is the champion right now. With the highest my score. favorite is coming up, which is Trader Joe's Pesto Pizza. Uh oh. Yes. That's my fave. Wait. Uh oh. I thought we already did that one. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Trader Joe's Pesto Pizza. <laughs> With tomatoes and pesto? Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, this one, spinach. Oh, okay. So they don't have the one I like. Sold out because it's so good, right? Mm, Probably. Perhaps. That's a fucking nightmare. This is a mushroom and black truffle. Pizza. This is a fucking nightmare. Why is this happening that. to me? I came to prove a point, and I don't even like any of these. <laughs> this is. Oh, dude, it's like so. Oh, dude, it, it, it's you got you know that when you take it out of the oven, it's okay. But it's both breath. soggy, but also like spongy at the same time. Hey, put it in the microwave to heat it up. Trader, we don't got dough to a pizza. Uh, I would call that a uh, Sam bought a toaster oven for this. Yeah, it's a toaster mm. oven, not a microwave. A fancy one. The biggest toaster oven I've ever seen, as a matter of fact. Gordon Ramsay would fucking execute both of us right now if he saw us <laughs> eating fake truffle pizza that's frozen. That one sounds good. What makes you think it's fake truffle? That shit was forged by the finest truffle bit. Yeah, dude, totally. <laughs> Um, that one is it's not as offensive as I thought it was going to be, because like the presentation alone makes it seem like it's not edible. So it's surprising when you taste it and it's not like Subversive. immediately right. hitting you directly in the mouth. It's not assaulting me um, in the way that I expected it to because of how awful it looks. Yeah. So I'm gonna give that a four, a pleasant surprise. What's interesting about it being truffle is that it looks like there's mushrooms growing on it. So that's the first time I've seen. Yeah, that it's present. black mold. 
This yeah. is <laughs> this is uh, you're we're ingesting black mold. So that's it. That's interesting <laughs> that they do that. Yeah. That's a so, floor. It's, it's so disgusting. moldy that your landlord would paint over it with a white paintbrush. Right, and forget it was no yeah. Pretend it was never there. And what did you rate it, Ethan? It's a four. A four. So you guys are aligned on that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we, we've had two of those so for, far. But for you, you, you're surprised how good it is, and I hated it, and we're both at four. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised how good it is because it looks like it's lethal. Yeah, no, I, I get you. I get so that's you. not exactly like, I'm not like, mmm, delicious. Like, I would never order a single one of these ever again for the rest well, of my life. Well, you know life. what's good about that pizza? You eat the truffle, and then you can grow it afterwards yeah. if you save a slice. Yeah. Interesting. Is there more? I, I think that that was the end of my stack over here, so... Um. I'm sorry I did that to you, bro. That wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> that was all bad. What were you expecting? You thought that this was no, going to be like I, a pleasant experience? Yeah, when it comes out of the oven, when I make it at home, those mm -hmm. slap hard. I'm just, but but today I got to say, whatever happened here, it was not good. Well, we don't own an oven. I know. I'm not blaming you. Guys. I'm not blaming. Sa Sam's been up since 5 a.m. making pizzas in our yeah. house. Yeah, it's fine. You guys were eating them too quick for the toaster to heat them up, so I had to nuke it's, them in the microwave. It's not them. your fault, Sam. You did the best. I mean, you it, you can't. It's like you cook the pizza in the morning. It's you have no other choice. You bring it in. I'm not. I'm, listen, now you guys made me feel bad. I'm just being honest. Okay. No, it's Thanks, Ian. Feel bad. No, I I just saw Thank comments you, Sam. in the chat. People. Thank you, Sam. Something, anything else you want to say to make me feel horrible during the show? Go ahead. Hey, Sam. If you feel horrible, remember, we had to eat them. Mm. You guys dissed my favorite one, which was the truffle mushroom. But try it. You try it. Okay, so you'll be a good impartial judge. Try it. Why isn't your light on, Sam? <laughs> well, you're like in pitch black darkness back there. I know my my mic's not working, but. Uh, Sam, you yeah. didn't make the pizzas, you guys. Give me a fucking break. I mean, yeah, she. He, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not criticizing you. Sam. How dare you? She's right. a pizza connoisseur. Stop it. She well, is, you know, Ian she, put this idea in everyone's she's a, head. She's no, a no, it really, it really wasn't me. I saw, I saw no. comments saying, "I'm really disappointed in the production value today, guys. It's, it's lacking." Oh, so yeah. okay. I, I promise you. Oh, it's the it, commenters. It yeah, no, I was seeing comments. Okay, That's all right. Well then, fuck that. chat. Trader Fuck Joe's you guys! Appreciate Sam's me. work! What is Sam saying? Trader Joe made this. It's not on me. No. More First of all, the logistics of Sam cooking all of these is, is, is a lot, okay? So you, you did an amazing job. That being said, try the truffle one on camera, please. She did. Oh, she did? How did you like it? Be She's careful with bussing. It's so <laughs> She's... I oh love shit! This pizza. She's the term bussin'. Um, be careful. One out of ten. Be careful, Ethan. She will work with Papa right John. Now, <laughs> I think it's like a six or seven right now. Yo. But when it comes out of the oven, it's an eleven. Dude. Out of ten? Yeah. Okay, everyone I here is broken. Pizza. Okay, I I, I, I saw what AB AB ate that thing last week. Like I just I I'm just gonna be honest with you, uh, Hassan. You What's keep up? talking that way. And when the revolution comes, you're the first head on the guillotine, bro. I mean, that, that's already going to happen regardless. I'm bro, the richest bro. man in America. That's true. This according to Internet flat. Anarchists. So. You like it? Yeah. I don't know, man. It just, the, the, the freshness factor. Look, if I'm in a desert and I'm dying, okay, because I survived a fucking plane crash and... The only form of sustenance I have is that spinach pizza. I'm dying. I'm taking the L. Yeah, let me put it. Let <laughs> me the, put the it spinach one, if they are like, hey, here you go. Like, you haven't had food in a week. Like, this is what we got to be like. Put me back in the desert. I'm going to fucking die. This is what I'll say about it. Okay. If I was in a house full of delicious, fresh food, and I opened the freezer and saw that, I'd cook that and eat it happily and have a great time. Who cares what you believe? Four. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan is right on that. Cheers. Well, at least we can agree the Mountain Dew is fucking a fine vintage. Fine, fine. Yeah, this is a vintage one. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, do you feel, pick up those it's good. Those fruity, earthy... The citrusy undertone. Yeah, 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 yeah. quite yeah, delicate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah, yeah, one, yeah, 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 yeah. This Minty. One, this one was produced in a Kansas manufacturing facility. I can really taste the, the uh, rat poison in it. Right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very nice touch on this one. Right, right, right. Speaking I can you, I can taste the BPD that it was held yeah. in. Yeah, good undertone mm. of uh, plastic mm. microplastics. Yeah. Hey, and if you're watching from Europe, get fucked, pussies. You can't have this because the European Food and Safety Commission decided yellow seven and all these other food dyes are, you know, 
toxic dangerous chemicals. chemicals. Yeah, it's they can't fucked get up. Mountain Dew. No, I fucked they up. Say, they Except, banned it, but I think they changed their formula for Europe. just for them. They're like Americans can suck on the poison. Yeah, yeah, we have Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's yeah, why that's they drink good. Fanta instead. They're they're big Fanta heads out there. The Fanta is different color here than in yeah. America. I noticed. Man, uh, Mountain Dew is uh, Japan and parts of Europe banned it because it until recently contained a flame retardant. <laughs> oh, that's good. I mean, you, you if it was a flame accelerant. Should I go back worried, to my? But... I'm going back to my place. Yeah, you can go back. Get out of my face. All right. <laughs> you fucking elitist. <laughs> yeah, if a flame a flame retardant. I mean, that's great. I'm not gonna get. I'm not, It's gonna right. lower my flammability. Right. As long as it's not an accelerant. Like yeah. You yeah. I, I it would hook me up. Uh, they're saying they have Mountain Dew in Europe, so, and again, another classist move by Hassan, who hates the poor. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't, don't you dare, uh, don't you dare disrespect my bona fides as a Mountain Dew boy. I'm a soda boy till I die, okay? I have all, I have every, I, I get, like, signature Mountain Dews. Yeah, I know like, you, I know you're deep, I know you're deep. I love Coke Zero, that's my shit, bro. I love Coke Zero. I'm a, I'm a Diet Coke, uh, boy. I'm a, I'm a DC, I'm a DC boy. Love that. Uh, the final scores are Amy's Margarita got the the highest uh, grades from yep, across the, the winner, board. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Uh, the work you've done, Sam. You are incredible. You have worked Thank all you, morning. Thank you. To bring us these uh, <laughs> horrifically disgusting pies. Don't worry about it. But you didn't cook them. I did. Did you? Did I cook them? You didn't cook them, did you? I I. <laughs> I did. No. Yeah. Did that's not, what I, I, I was looking for no. All right. I didn't cook them. I was looking for no. I don't know if you guys are interested right, in the stats, stop. but that uh, really doughy one has 1,300 calories. The entire thing or one slice? <laughs> the entire thing. One slice has 430 calories. That's disgusting. Oh, wait. Was that the one with the four? It has four. The deep fried crust yes. one. Yes. 400 calories for one of those? Yeah. And then oh, the me. arugula one that you guys hated is the lowest cow, the lowest fat, everything across the board. The that one, that one was like, I mean, a lot of the pizzas that we just had are are basically MREs. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Ethan. I think you would like meal ready. <laughs> it you sounds do like a I meal would. ready to eat uh, like version of this. Yeah, it sounds like those pizzas are pretty pretty good. Mamma mia, 400 calories. Okay, well, this is you already did so much Italiophobia by forcing me, a, a an ally to the Italians to, to no, consume not. this food. You're not a you're not an ally. I am an ally to Italians. You're ready to throw them in the fucking chambers, bro. With the I don't pizzas. know what you're talking about. I if it was up to you, you'd cook them in the oven with the pizzas, bro. I would never do that. That's extra seasoning where I you come Italians. from. I love Italians. How dare you? Yeah, uh, we have so much more to talk about. I guess we have a little time left. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you, yeah. you you have shit to do usually, but yeah. This I'll just throw up some really good ones. Crowder, Stephen Crowder, who is a comedian, as you guys know, fancies himself. As a very, very funny man. As you know, conservatives are getting better at comedy oh, and it's making, the, it's making liberals afraid. He posted this. Uh, it says, just Whoa, as catch, yeah. just as catchy. Uh, you, you, wanted to, you want to remedy that, A.B., or you just going to pretend it didn't my happen? My shaky his hands were on the button and I looked away and, and I had a little twitch. I apologize. Yeah, I'll let it play out now. Let's go. A fucking nightmare. You need steady hands for uh, yeah, yeah. to be a soundboard guy. You got to deal with me for two more days. <laughs> just as catchy as, if not more, than Baby Shark, he says. So I'm this, already offended because Baby Shark is the shit. I fuck with Baby Shark. Yeah. Theodore loves that. Yeah, it's, it's bullshit that he would come for Baby Shark like this. Yo, you know, Baby Shark's like the most popular song on YouTube. I actually think it is now. It has like 10 billion views. Yeah, and it deserves it. I can't think of a song more worthy of that. And I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, the people who made it, it's just a YouTube channel called Pink Fawn. They've built a whole fucking empire on this song. Like we, have, we have stuffed animals, a tent. Pink Fong tent, bro. You know, you know what's uh, fucked up? 11 billion. Yep. Yeah, guess what? That's what happens when you actually go viral and you haven't made videos disparaging uh, our, our military <laughs> veterans here in America. That's right, Psy. <laughs> I didn't get it. I don't get he it. He did do that. Psy, the Gangnam Style guy? Oh, Gangnam Style oh, guy. Oh, oh, oh. Has he disparaged America? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he is like a, no. like a rugged anti-imperialist. <laughs> I mean, he's super awesome. Like, I think he like literally Psy's talked based. about... 
Wait, hold on. He is I, very anti-America. What are we going to do about that? He had a... He had, we, he need had to, a we need to send that... Uh, okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> we need to send that pseudo-lesbian pilot to bomb his can I just explain? House. Can I just explain something <laughs> to you really quickly? Kill those fucking Yankees. Size anti-U.S. pass surfaces. Kill them all slowly and painfully, the artist rapped. At a what? 2004 anti-U.S. protest. Wait, that, that maybe sign needs to tone down the rhetoric a little bit. <laughs> Kill the Yankees. What is he, a Confederate? Well, we have been pseudo occupying their country for like 50 years. Yeah, Yo, dude, they pseudo. should be sucking our dick, bro. <laughs> they got K-pop because of us. That's true. I mean, that, that literally is true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong about that. Dude, thank me personally for K-pop. I'll accept your thank yous yeah. now, Psy. You can have a career without me. concert, staged in opposition to the 37,000 U.S. troops stationed on the Korean Peninsula, Psy took the stage in gold face paint and a glittery red outfit, then lifted a model U.S. tank over his head before smashing it to pieces on the ground. <laughs> the performance was a response to the death of two Korean schoolgirls killed in an accident with an American military vehicle uh, which, by the way, that's like what America oh, and American I, military bases it, do all the time. Was it like the wife of a diplomat who was driving drunk and killed people and then left without charge, or was that somewhere else? That could have been somewhere else. I heard that, that, that in the news. Is, it happens. Yeah, yeah that's not a good thing. Yeah. Well, Sai, listen. You're going to Gangnam style yourself and do a fucking assassination if can you I, don't, Can I read the, can I read the rest of the Keep your mouth lyric? shut. Can I read the rest of the lyric? Yeah. Dear American is the name of the song. He said, kill those fucking Yankees who have been torturing Iraqi captives. Okay, I'm down Kill with those that. fucking Yankees who ordered them to torture. Okay. Kill their daughters, mothers, Whoa! daughters, and fathers. Kill them all what? slowly and painfully. That's what he said. What? Wait, yeah. wait, who? Is this, uh, that's Psy? Yeah. He, yeah. I mean, why are we killing their whole extended family? Where, I mean, where, where's the value in like that? He's saying, like, due to Americans, what the Americans did to Iraq is what he's saying, basically. Yo, this guy he's is He's Gangnam fucking... styling on uh, the military. That's what he's doing. He's Upan Gangnam styling on the U.S. military. He should go to the graves of fucking veterans and Gangnam style on their graves. I mean, he probably would. <laughs> if given the opportunity, it seems like he would. I would like when uh, when George Bush dies, I'd like to see a video where he Gangnam styles on his grave. It's just like, I guess some people, I guess some people have animosity when you like what? bomb 40 to 90 percent of the, every single town in North Korea. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Here he is. Put, put a uh, put a brutal brutal military dictatorship that is aligned with u.s interests in south korea for many many years only to be uh you know thwarted by other u.s aligned hyper capitalist uh chaebol backed uh governments bro this is my favorite thing i like this i'm gonna gang gum style on your grave is the best thing now that's the ultimate insult. No, he's so based. Uh, anyway. Okay, gang, shout out gang, Mr. Gangum over there. Yeah. But anyway, p talking about political uh, theater or... This is how we got we got here from Baby Shark. Just Yeah, to... yeah musician. So Steven Crowder, very funny uh, conservative on the right. He actually hired someone to make this, which is interesting. He paid for this, and then he decided after seeing it, I'm going to post this He should have never Twitter. done that. And That's so, bad. He shouldn't have done that. And so here it is, guys, uh, without further ado. I think we might get claimed for this, though. No. It has the baby shark melody. They're, these guys are fucking ruthless, man. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll play just a snippet, maybe. Oh, I'm scared. I mean, you really need about four seconds to get the idea. Yeah, that's it. He just goes, Biden farts, do, 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 Biden farts. Oh, we're not listening to the whole thing. Okay, I love that. Biden sharts, do, 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 Biden sharts, do, 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 do. And then he goes, with the Pope, got him, with do, 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 with the Pope, do, 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 Biden sharts. It just keeps going so and going stupid, bro. and going. And then he says, join the mug club, baby. For more, for more incredible content like this, like, who's the target audience? <laughs> Like, children or adults with children brains? Dude, the whole fucking thing is like, he's, that's the worst thing you could say is he farts? I mean, what the fuck are you talking about, Steven Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars for more content, like, just like this. This is the type of, this is the type of, uh, thing that, like, joke that you would make if your parents are mad at you about cursing. So you're like, oh, Biden poopy. <laughs> Biden sharded on the Pope. Uh, the comments were incredible, man. He got absolutely eviscerated. I said, this is embarrassing even for you. Let me keep going. You're almost 40, man. And he got ratioed hard. This is 36,000 likes. 
Yep. He got clipped. Oh, God, I got to click more replies every time. I see the ongoing effort to groom children and conservative some conservative is going well. Well, that's an interesting observation. Yeah, no, that's like they're so bad at making content that is not like directly <laughs> that is not created for uh, already racist, like 45 year old divorced dads that uh, right. I, I do not worry about them like uh, genuinely, genuinely changing the attitudes of like a younger generation. Uh she said, and this is interesting because he tweeted this the day before. He says, "Sleep uh, tomorrow is war. Sleep well." And I wonder if this is what he meant by that. Yeah, that mug club. The war. Yeah, he's been he's been working hard to promote the mug club, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, so that was a good that was a good thing that happened <laughs> by Stephen Crowder, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the comedian, very funny man. Yeah, really funny. I love. <laughs> Maybe that. I'll even clap for him. And that would be the time to play the domestic terrorist, uh, AB. Or... They just, like... You got a minute? No, I don't have a minute. Just, just... hit just hit the Flocka. <laughs> just hit Flocka. Yeah, just hit just the Flocka. Just hit Flocka. Fuck yeah, it. Just hit Flocka. Oh, here it is. This is, uh... He actually already did it. Here he is, Gangnam Styling on, um... That's crazy. Whose grave is this? Ronald that's... Reagan? No, that's Papa George Bush's Oh, grave. that's George Bush Sr. Oh, okay. Right right okay, he can get some, too. He was a war criminal as well. Yeah, so, so <laughs> may he... or may not have played a role in assassinating JFK. Who knows? He, he actually... It's a little weird that he was in Dallas that day. Yeah, a little weird. can't recall what he was doing in <laughs> Dallas that day. So strange. Um, you know? <laughs> well, well, Cy, obviously, uh, is doing a PSYOP. Is that a good PSYOP? Oh. Uh, doing a Gangnam He's Style. Doing a PSYOP. On <laughs> Yeah, love that. Yeah. I Never can't even forget. get a block of from you, AVM. Yeah, what I the fuck? This program, like, Some bro, you've had like two audio minutes to hit in and out, bro. Yeah, Flocka. Thank there. you. Yeah, Flocka. All right, just one. Now, don't overcompensate. Uh, just one. Uh, Flocka. <laughs> All right, that I like. I like those. Those are good. <laughs> this is great. Laura Loomer. She's oh, a fringe, right, one. conservative freak. Yeah, Flocka. Who lost, tragically, she lost <laughs> to another Republican who isn't as crazy as her, right? Okay, here's the thing. If, if you can't have someone more crazy than Laura Loomer, who, like, yeah. was caught on camera talking to a literal Nazi, uh, saying, like, oh, why won't you fuck me? Um, <laughs> I have big Ashkenazi tits and an Ashkenazi IQ or something. Yeah. Like... She just Ashkenazi straight up, tits? Yeah. yeah. She just straight up told like a like an actual Nazi, like a white supremacist, on camera at a, one of these like fucking awful, you know, virgin events that they do that they throw. Uh, like, why won't you fuck me? Oh, Aaron, there it is. Your eyes look so good. You're like beautiful. Thank you. You're like an Aryan degenerate goddess. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, 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 dude. White supremacist flirting is so funny. Wait, uh -huh. wait, You're like on. an Aryan degenerate god. You are a perfect. You are perfect. We need to breed. <laughs> I know, but I'm Jewish. <laughs> Look at his reaction. He's like, oh. Wait. Oh, she says ew. I'm Jewish? Yeah. Is she Jewish? Yeah, yeah, she's Jewish. Yeah. Wait, so what's going on here exactly? What do you. What, she, uh, I mean, she's an idiot. <laughs> but, yeah, wait, go back. I, yeah, I thought she was just being anti Semitic, but she's actually Jewish? Yeah. Okay, this is wild. Yeah, no, she is, yeah. Aaron, your eyes look so good. You're like beautiful. Thank you. You're like an Aryan degenerate goddess. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. You're Aryan too. I know, but I'm Jewish. Is it your Aryan so too? Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear what he say. I want to hear what he say. Go me. back. He said muttered something. Yeah, he said you're. Uh, I know, but I'm Jewish. That's okay. Then That's then okay. <laughs> it's fine. The all right people want to put me in a gas chamber. Whoa. Because they're obsessed with the Jews. I don't, I think they're just memeing on you, but it's okay. Yeah. They're just jealous because I have big tits and an Ashkenazi IQ. Yes, oh that's God. what it is. Yeah. You got it. I'm going to tell you a secret. Like, do you know so many people in this movement who preach trap life are, like, fucking people on the side and, like, cheating on their partners? That's like, so bad. Like, who, why, even, like, why is this being really filmed for broadcast? Like, why not? Content for <laughs> my pleasure, baby. <laughs> um... No, it's great. It's great. He she, she has the death grip on him too. You yeah. notice that? He's, oh yeah, yeah. She's yeah. like cl basically clawed his clavicle. Dude, if a man like, did that, boy, it'd be over, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, why won't you fuck me? <laughs> Our big Jeez. tits and an Ashkenazi IQ. It's like, dude, oh my. But God. I, I like that she at least acknowledges that her uh, her fellow Republicans are anti-Semitic. 
She's like, all my other colleagues want to fucking kill me because of the Jews. Yeah, which, uh, <laughs> by the way, that's just like, that's like the least offensive thing that she's done, for the record. <laughs> In a long sequence of like, uh, you know, being a proud Islamophobe, she was so Islamophobic, she got fucking banned from like Uber and Lyft and stuff. Um, <laughs> Right. She, yeah, she's, uh, blah, 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 blah. she changed herself to the Twitter headquarters oh. in New York in a, in a, to stage a protest because she got banned off Twitter. I mean, she's just such a sweaty, awful to look at, Laura horrible Loomer. person. More like Laura Boomer from the Looney Bin. Wow. Thanks. Twitter, Anything? Jew hate, r hatred, A-OK, -okay, nosy, nosy Jew, Jew banned. banned. With a Yuda stamp? Wow, girl. Yeah. Right, so let's watch. She lost uh, uh, very shockingly. We are losing our country because of big tech election interference. And I am pleading with the Republican Party to please start taking this issue seriously. Is she crying? Please. Yeah, she's because crying. Because the American people deserve representation. And that's, so busted. that's why I ran for Congress in 2020. It's why I ran for Congress in 2022. And it's why I'm going to keep fighting for all of you. Never keep fighting for me with those big ass titties. Wait, yeah. what was... Can we pull up the election results? Because, like, this psychotic person... She lost she to a Republican. She but. almost... No, no, no. She, she almost won. Oh. Yeah, she almost won. It was very like, close. It was a close fucking race. You mean I could have seen those big Ashkenazi tits on fucking every day? At, and she, uh, and, she uh, went uh, to the villages. Yeah. Congress. What, what's really funny about it is that... She, so the villages is, like, a famous, uh, you know, Republican stronghold. Many people have uh, uh, written about it extensively. She went to the villages... And ran a, an expressly and openly ageist campaign, but the, but it's a retirement community full of boomers, and they loved it. They were like, <laughs> like she said, you know, um, Congress can't be run by like these old people, you know, that need walkers and pacemakers. That's why you should vote for me, Laura Loomer. And all these fucking boomers with walkers and pacemakers, are like, yeah, boomers for Loomer. Well, nobody knows better than them how right she is. At the uh, end, thank, it wasn't thank all you that to Flocka, close. by the way, for 50 wasn't gifted, all that close. Uh, uh, members. You know, Flocka. Flocka seven gifted. Point. Yeah, it wasn't that close, was it? Seven point. I mean, it was. It got real close because of uh, the way that the, the bowels were being tabulated. Uh, and it, for a moment, it was One like, thing. what the fuck? <laughs> However, this is still close because it's Laura fucking Loomer, man. Like, that's. Flocka. Yeah. My favorite thing about the conservatives now is anytime any of them lose, even to other Republicans, it's. it's uh, Rigged. Yeah. Yeah. Like just, genuine well, belief that it was rigged. It's he's currently it uh, on Twitter genuine. freaking out it's about just, that. This is Ben Shapiro's uh, sister. She has some really sound dating advice. And she honestly is giving dating advice. I don't know what's the context of the dating advice she's giving. But she, it sounds. She puts out content all the time. So. But it sounds like she's describing somebody. I can't figure out quite who. Let's listen. One thing that I learned early on in my dating Look career was I didn't want to date a guy. I didn't want to end up with a guy who felt like he had to win every argument. Mm. God, there are some that. guys who ben. really just think that they need to be the smartest one in the room all right, the right, time. Right, right. And you can never get into just a discussion. Everything turns into a debate. Right. So I knew very quickly that I never wanted to end up with a guy like that. One thing. <laughs> Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair. That's crazy. If you grew up with Ben Shapiro in the household, you would run the fuck away from Ben Shapiro archetypes yeah. uh, as well. <laughs> like, can you imagine? She, she literally just hypothetically, hypothetically, I would not want to pass you the salt because uh, I'm a man. <laughs> and you should be able to pass the salt to yourself if you're a woman and a feminist. You should be self-reliant. Here's actually Ben Shapiro, never forget. This is real. My red pill moment came when I turned seven years old. My mom sent me to school with cupcakes for my birthday, and the teacher made me share them with my classmates, even the poor ones whose mothers never sent cupcakes for their tweet. birthday. There's the no rage of that, that day has never left me. That's not a what real tweet. About? This is zero not a real tweet. I don't believe that. Never forget. <laughs> I don't believe that. It at has all. 73,000 likes. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, that's part of the reason why I don't believe that, because that would have way more quote tweets, dude. Are you <laughs> kidding me? If that was real, it would have way more quote tweets. <laughs> Um, this is actually so. not funny. It's incredible. Actually, it's incredible. It's tragic. It's fascinating. It's infuriating. This guy, South Carolina Republican Rep, uh, Representative Neil Collins, voted to make abortion illegal in his state. As one and does. And soon after that, there's are obviously... T dozens of horrific stories coming out. Everyday news stories are coming out about just horrific violence, 
and horrible conditions that poor these poor women who are trying to, uh, you know, <laughs> so many reasons. But anyway, this guy, he's shocked by the result of, of his vote. So here he is talking. Oh, look about at that! It. The consequences of my actions. That's crazy. Like on one hand, I'm like, I'm glad he's at least swallowing his pride and doing the right thing and talking about this. But on the other hand, it's like, fuck you, you demon. Everybody was saying this from the beginning. A thing that I can't say uh, on YouTube that you told me not to say is something that I really want to say. In if Minecraft. you had any honor, I'm just saying. Whatever you would say would happen in Minecraft. If you had any honor, you would, you know, do the right thing. <laughs> Here's the clip. You guys are going to, if you haven't seen, I mean, it's really shocking. I voted for the pain capable bill, the fetal heartbeat bill, and fetal heartbeat has been for six weeks now. <laughs> the second week that this, that the fetal heartbeat bill became law, a doctor called me out of Anderson. I live in Easley. A 19-year-old girl appeared at the ER. She was 15 weeks pregnant. Her water broke. Fuck her! <laughs> and was good. the, oh the fetus God. was unviable. <laughs> Do that, Amy. The standard of care was to advise her uh, <laughs> that they could extract or she could go home. The attorneys told the doctors that because of the fetal heartbeat bill, because that 15-week-old had a heartbeat, the doctors could not extract. Huh. So their only choices were to admit the 19-year-old until that fetal heartbeat stopped. I asked, how long does it take to stop? She said, seconds, minutes, hours, maybe days. Or discharge. Torture. They discharged that 19-year-old. The doctor told me at that point, there's a 50% chance, well first, she's going to pass this fetus in the toilet. She's going to have to deal with that on her own. Wait, There's why is he not talking about it like a baby? Pause it for a second. Wait, she's going right, to lose a wait I'm sorry. Is he saying fetus? Uh. That's, not, that's not the appropriate terminology in this situation. The, the appropriate terminology is baby. Uh, that's a that's a potential that, baby. That's a, a murder life, happening right? in that toilet. Yeah, that's like, oh, she's going to have to murder to the have baby a in the toilet. Yeah. Actually, so strange. She needs, to, she needs to scoop it out, and we need to bury it. Probably. Yeah, life begins at uh, conception, right? So what's up? Now it's a fetus. You fucking asshole. You fucking animal. It's like, did you not read the fucking thing you signed? But here, let's let's continue. No, they First. they they, uh, they did. It doesn't matter. They're fucking brutal pieces of shit. Well, Every single one of these motherfuckers, like they deserve infinitely worse. If there was any sort of karmic justice on this world, they every single lawmaker that has signed on for these fucking bills universally would feel a fraction of the suffering that any amount of like random 16 year old girls feel <laughs> in these fucking states where they go to the ER and the doctor's like, sorry, you're literally, you're, you're not, your, your fetus is not like uh, dead yet, dead enough yet. You have to continue it, torturing yourself. It has no head. We I heard about this. Your, your fetus has no head. Yeah, it, it it it's it's it has no head, but it has a heartbeat. Yeah, we can't. Ease you have your to give suffering. birth to this. We can't ease your suffering. You have to, you know, you have to deal with it on your own. Let me ask you this, doctor: Can a baby survive with no head? It's not a baby; it's a fetus. He's right. Anyway, he he realizes that he is going to hell as we continue. She's going to pass this fetus in the toilet. She's going to have to deal with that on her own. There's a 50% chance, greater than 50% chance, that she's going to lose her uterus. There's a 10% chance that she will develop sepsis and herself die. Mm -hmm. That weighs on me. I voted for that bill. It should. You're going to hell. Yeah, that's your fault. The blood is on your hands, and you're going to hell. But at least he's come to God. At least he's come to Jesus, so to speak. No, he, uh, no, he should meet. He should meet his Maker. I think if he wants right. to come to Jesus. In Minecraft, of course. I'm gonna. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, like, you, you do the right thing, you know? Yeah. He's doing do the right thing. Yellow. Look, I already got a fucking strike. Just chill. Do that shit on your own channel. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I do. <laughs> and, no. Yeah, but it, yeah, I think you're fine. But anyway, thank you, Almas, for the 20 gifted. Thank you for the gifted. <laughs> thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the 20 gifted fetuses. I don't know if that's funny. Maybe too far. But anyway, yeah. here, you're going to hell, bro. Go These are affecting people. And we're having a meeting about this. It took that whole week. I did not sleep. Aww. Aww. Poor guy. Poor guy. 
Listen, listen. I have no sympathy for any of these fucking. Demons. I actually do like that he's saying this. This is important. I like that he's saying it because if he does the right thing, then I'm on board. A lot of people in his position wouldn't either a give a fuck or b would never admit this publicly. So oh. on one hand, you are a demon and you are going to hell, and the blood is on your hands. <clears throat> but on the other hand, appreciate you. <laughs> the the thing is. This was the predictable outcome. Every single person, even dumb idiots like myself, knew that this was going to happen and said that this was going to happen. And there's no adequate way of criminalizing abortion without punishing women. Every instance of like, uh, every, every time you try to stop someone from getting a medical procedure, you are punishing the, the, the entire marginalized population that you're impacting. There's no way out of this. They knew that this was going to happen. Now they're trying to make it seem like, oh, well, we didn't do carve-outs, but, like, it was never supposed to be for people that, are, that have ectopic pregnancy. It's like, fuck you. Dude, the it's zero, exactly what was going to happen, zero, and it is happening. Yeah. The zero tolerance policies in some of these states, it makes no fucking sense. Even if there was, like, minor to uh, uh, tolerance, it, it still doesn't matter. These are edge cases that greatly showcase the hypocrisy and, and the, the lack of morals behind uh, writing legislation like this. But even then, it doesn't matter. Even if it wasn't uh, an ectopic Feminist. pregnancy, women should still be able to get an abortion, whatever the fuck they want, okay? It's fucking bullshit that you are, you are causing them to carry pregnancies to term, which is torturous. It's literally a torturous process. It is torture. It is state-sanctioned torture. It's fucking unacceptable. I mean, murder, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's horrific. It's sad. It's, so, it's probably... It's so fucked up. I mean, this is like... I, t I talked about it so much. I mean, there's really nothing left to say about it other than these people are going to hell. <coughs> and it's just the natural reaction is that a lot of women are going to die and suffer needlessly, absolutely needlessly. Uh, bright, young, promising uh, women and uh, girls are going to die until everybody realizes it's barbaric. And it's sad that you even have to fucking do it. It's going you know, to get reversed eventually, either at the state or federal level. Um, and, and, and there's going to be basically carnage in between that happened for no fucking reason. Thank you for the gifted. Derek Runes, thank you for the gifted. Did you give it from Derek Runes? Thank you. Okay. A little awkward transition there. If, if, what? Well, what can it I do? It was just like in the same breath. It was the same sentence. What can like, I do? You I popping appreciate off about it, that. man. Anyway, yes. I don't, know. I don't uh, have an ounce of sympathy for these motherfuckers unless they, like, literally are, like, actively... Like, if you want redemption from the horrifying actions that you took, like, you need to either, A, do the right thing, uh, and even in that situation, your, your guilt is not absolved, in my opinion. Like, I, I believe in rehabilitation, but these sick fucks, the, you, you can't get away, with, uh, get away with it by being like, oh, man, some women are suffering because they had ectopic pregnancies that they needed to carry... Uh, and, and, you know, could potentially die. Uh, it just made me lose sleep. Like, no, motherfucker, do the right thing. Do the right Why thing. Why are you so cute when you talk shit? Yeah, I mean, the, the most, f it's all so fucked up. And there's so many women, like abortion, <coughs> and like, if you have a failed pregnancy, the procedure of safely removing the fetus is technically the same procedure that you would do to get an yes, abortion. exactly. And so hospitals, the lawyers are telling the doctors, you can't even help women whose, ba whose pregnancy has obviously failed and now is just a threat to their life and their health. They're saying you can't get an abortion. And, like, most doctors don't even want to rock the boat. They don't want to get, like, in trouble. They don't want to get arrested, so they're terrified of doing this procedure. But then some states will literally go after the few doctors that still bravely say, fuck that, I'm doing it. Right. They will go after those doctors as well, and they will, they will punish those doctors as well. Isn't it's there, such there, bullshit, dude. There's some state where they're trying to make uh, abortion homicide. Homicide. What was that? What, which, which state was that? They're trying to do some legislation there. I don't there. know. I just, like... I, I this this makes my blood boil. I I guess the only there is no there is no positive outcome out of this. But uh, you know they are they are suffering electorally at least because they followed through on the promises that they made to their most Louisiana yeah most aggressive. Yeah. Louisiana is trying to pass a bill. No, it's great. That says Angola needs more prisoners. Like wonderful, thank you. It says uh, doing an abortion is murder, which is in Louisiana punishable by death. 
love that. I mean, that's like the best pro-life, pro-life circle ever. Yeah, you can't be more pro-life than that. Everybody dies, baby. Let's go. Thank you for gifted. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, thank you for the gifted. Uh, out, wait, is that a new one from Almas? Yes. Thank you for the gifted. Almas, thank you for the gifted. Fifty gifted. Yeah. So uh, anyway, we're pretty much out of time. Uh, yeah. I hate to end on such a dark. Do we have anything real quick that's funny that we can? Maybe well, think about the hey, look twenty grand. It, but twenty grand, baby. Joe Biden. Rich well, million. that's only for people oh, yeah. that got the fucking like. It's still, grant. it's still pretty good. That's the million, I mean, you guys are 40, a lot. Of you guys are getting 10k, million, right? Put, Forty-five million Americans have student loan debt. Uh, you know? I'm one of those people that believes in personal responsibility. I've paid off my student loans, and I think it's frankly disgusting that yeah. I have to pay for really these lazy up. motherfuckers. So you paid off your debt. I did. So I think it's and only I'm being, fair. I'm being sarcastic. You yeah, fool. Well, I did too. So I think it's only fair that those here in the office that are getting it. Need to pay us support oh, is in the interest. That is yeah. such a good point. I'm, actually, I'll that. just I'll yeah. I'll garnish it from your pay. <laughs> Dog, your pay. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, I love it. that. <laughs> I paid off my student loans and my brother's as well. So, you know, I need so to you, I need to get doubly double up. Yeah, yeah. What else? Benefits nice you done for everybody. People? Um, I guess you worked at a soup kitchen last weekend too. <laughs> What? What? No, I did not do that. Oh, you uh, mean like? Oh, I'm talking about all the good things I've yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah, so nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. yeah, such a good person. Like, bro, I don't know what to say, but you were tweeting about how you got your own HBO Go account, and I'm like, this motherfucker just bought a Porsche and a nice house, and now he's talking about buying HBO Go. I know. What? Like, what dude, phone it's I purchased? Disgusting. I'm a, Stop I'm flexing your wealth, bro. No, it's that one. That one actually hurt a little bit. I've literally, I've had that HBO Max account that I've like basically shared. I was gonna say stolen, but shared. With a friend of mine for like the past, you know, however long HBO was in existence and then turned over to HBO Max. Mm -hmm. Um, Uh, Yeah, that hurt. Like even before then, even before HBO Max existed or before HBO Go, I I was using that. I'll say this. I went through every tax bracket with it. Literally. Really? (laughs) Every single tax bracket with that (laughs) HBO Max shared account. I'll say this. I knew I had made it when I got my own Netflix account. Yeah, boy. I still I knew that I, I my still life my was, I was living a comfortable life. You're still using your mom's today? Yeah, I'm still using my mom's, yeah. But <laughs> now at least dad. I'm I'm paying it back with a HBO Max account because she was always like trying to get me to. Can to you get not one. watch two at once? Does it kick the other person out or something? No. So what's the problem? Well, I just didn't have it. I didn't have an HBO Max account. I, I used my one. dad's serious account, so he's we're still sharing. Yeah, but mit- now, look, now, just because I uh, I conjure green flames to burn the souls of the virgin g- women, it doesn't mean that uh, that that the students need the ten thousand uh, of, of debt forgiveness. Yeah, he's he's mad. He's real mad. He's been out. Uh, he's he's been out of shape for this one, and I love that because you know he loves he loves giving money to the wealthy. Oh wait, there was one thing. Sorry, there was one thing I did want to do before we go, is all the demon takes on the debt uh, forgiveness. I really wanted to look at this. Okay. R- Mitt Romney, who's worth half a billion dollars, said, It's sad to see what's being done to bribe the voters. Biden's student loan forgiveness plan may win Democrats some votes, but it fuels inflation, foots taxpayers with other people's financial obligations. Bitch, shut the fuck up, dude. That happens all the time for big businesses all the fucking time and the one time that it's like actual people in need like individuals you bitch about how it's not the taxpayer's financial obligation you're a fucking bitch bro it, and he says it's, he says it's unfair to those who paid their own way and create irresponsible expectations you know what bro you're worth half a billion dollars it's, i said this before one thing that is like really interesting about this kind of commentary is that he considers like something that's good for the broader population 45 million americans a bribe and it's like dog yeah 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 that's that's just like good policy that's what you're supposed to do a- any, but americans are yeah, still yeah. brain broken into thinking like no 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 there's no such thing like you True. that's a bribe you're doing something wrong if you're like giving money back to the voters what you can do and what you should do always is to just give money back to corporations and the wealthy 
Those are the only people that matter. You can only bribe them. If you bribe the American people, that's bad. That's wrong. That's that's, that's you're rocking the vault if you try to give people yeah. health care. It's a bribe. Yeah, they would they would be so on board with it if like somehow this uh, if you if you just could convince them that like no 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 don't worry this is going to Exxon Mobil. Yeah, it's also this whole thing of it's not fair. It's not fair as I sit on a pile of half a billion dollars. Yeah, it's not, not fair. fair. You know what's not fair? Uh, being like uh, executive at Bain Capital and making billions of dollars firing people. Yeah. Apparently, I read he makes like six million dollars a month or something. To have the chutzpah to be like, it's not fair. Yeah, no, that you give that. A, 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 demon straight. Yeah, demon. straight demon. Love that for Mitch. Uh, uh, Good luck on your fucking... Mitt Romney, you know, the liberal hero, because yeah. he said Black Lives Matter, actually. I saw the takes for the Democrats. Which is pretty radical for a Mormon, I'll say that. <laughs> well, they did get the patch notes. Black people are no longer they, they, evil they, in yeah. Mormonism. They got the patch notes. Yeah, yeah, they patched it. They patched that out. <laughs> did they, though, or did they... You know no, no, they, I mean? they patched it out. Like Bring in it. the inner rings, do they? Because that's like deep... That's deep Mormon lore, is that black people... <laughs> Are literal. Mark they think Cain. they're demons, bro. Yeah, that, when, you're, when you're a bad person, you turn black. It's that, literally that's, what they think. That's in their their book. Mormonism believes everyone will go to heaven, no matter what. Okay, and that's why they baptize people like Hitler. They baptize Hitler and Anne Frank, um, post mortem. Right. That's yeah. Um, nice. However, the sense? only people that will not go to heaven are black people because they're evil demons. Yeah, Mark of Cain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, Crazy. Fuck. Is that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they say, they say we patched that out just like they patched uh, yeah. a polygamy out. Come on. Well, I mean, you can't That's the patch, whole book. Just how they you can't patched patch it out, out and then bring him young. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's out still what? out there. I mean, his name is still uh, BYU. I'm just saying, when you go into fucking... the fucking inner chamber of that uh, 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 happy uh, small world after all looking castle they have, um, they're, t they're talking about black people aren't demons. Okay, the one final positive note to end it on, though, with the student debt forgiveness is. Wait, that... we're not done. We have a lot of these we got to okay. read. All right, well. I'm keeping you here. Okay. So you, you want to make that point, or should we move on? No, here, we can, we can look at a couple more of these, but I, I got to run after. All right, let's do it then. Don Jr., of course, a uh, dude who was famously uh, 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 built, uh, pulled himself up by his own bootstraps. Canceling student debt is a tax on the most responsible people in the country. Not. Forcing people who worked hard to repay their loans or, uh, or those who didn't have the luxury of going to college to subsidize people who wasted money on worthless gender study degrees is a slap in the face. Yeah, that's they're, they, they all have gender study degrees. They're yeah. uh, genius. By the way, this idea that it's going to cause inflation is very hypothetical. I mean, it's really, it's really not a given, you know what I mean? Uh, demon. Uh, McConnell. Uh, uh, the Democrats, Democrats do the loan. Loan. Socialism yeah, is a slap to the face of the working Americans who sacrificed to pay their debt or made different career choices to avoid debt. A wildly unfair redistribution of wealth towards higher earning people. <laughs> Bitch, you are such a liar. No, he's just jealous. High like, earning people. Jealous. No, he's jealous. He's like, only I get to do a reverse Robin Hood scheme. <laughs> You're like, even if this was he's that, which a it liar. Isn't, even if, it, even if it was that, which it isn't, Mitch McConnell would only be jealous because he's not the one doing it. Yeah. Now, now, the one thing that is fair that I like is, you know, uh, we, bet, we gave the banks trillions of do do dollars, and that, that was fair. That was a fair moment there. Yeah. Now, now wildly unfair distribution of wealth to, uh, towards higher-earning people. You liar, bitch, demon. Your hands are black. Your, if your opinions are invalidated. Kevin McCartney, of course, said McCarthy said Biden's debt transfer scam will make inflation even worse and does nothing to stop the runaway cost of college from us. Well, that's true. We need to go further. We need to address that. Yeah, I know. That's pretty. <laughs> but, they, but they always love they always love using like one problem caused by capitalism to, to stop like one Band-Aid solution to a capitalist problem. Yeah, but but also it's just totally virtual signaling because they, they will have no intention of ever addressing that actual issue. Americans cannot afford Democrats radical agenda. Shut up, bitch ass fuck. One trillion PPP. How about you get this PP in your mouth? Fucking Kevin. Oh, God yeah. damn. Fuck. Wow. Get this PP -pee in that pretty little mouth. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow, dude. Demon ass fuck. Nikki Haley says, Biden's student loan payoff 
is vote buying, plain and simple. Again, another black pill. I love that's uh, such a good hey. point you make. It was yeah. like any it's like wow, you're buying votes. Yeah, it's, that's called policy. It's called legislation. Like when you do something good, <laughs> when you do something right by people, it's like wow, you're buying votes. Wow, yeah. kindergarten bribed the fucking voters much. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I can't believe you want to fund the fire department. Uh, try, try harder to buy more votes, Sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Poor people deserve to actually die in a fucking house fire, you know? Uh, it will raise tuitions, increase inflation, and add to the liberal corruption we see in government. Raise tuitions. Okay, price checks on college or shut the fuck up. Yeah. Nikki, um, you're a demon. You're going to hell. One? Oh, and then we have, there's one really fast. I know you're in a hurry, so I'm going to move fastly. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's got gray eyes. That's not a good sign. Um, where's the one of the uh, PPP boys? Uh, oh, it's it was right above that. It's a it's a separate uh, album. Okay, so where is it? Uh, right here. Here, I'll throw it up. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, so up again, uh, conservative talking boy, very predictable. Stephen Crowder, of course, uh, legendary uh, comedian on the right, made famously the uh, Biden farts. Uh, 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 of fame. Student loan forgiveness sounds really nice to illegal immigrants. Why? How, how did that even get I it? don't even understand. People with no life experience and people who don't have families yet and people who use preferred pronouns. Well, I mean, Got him! I, he uses pronouns too. Like, he has a preferred pronoun. Yeah, yes. it's he, him. Yeah. So I don't understand. <laughs> so then this, there's someone who's responding to all these fucks with, like, this bro you? got a fat handout from the government. 70,000. Yeah. So, so what's the what is the difference exactly? Um, that like was genuinely, the, what's the difference? That was the other Crowder? dunk I that was the other dunk I had, which was like I think the eighty seven thousand like kitted up IRS agents should go into the homes of every single person who got a PPP loan that's like saying that student loan debt forgiveness should not happen, and forcibly seize their assets, put a lien on the house, put a lien on the fucking studio, and seize all their assets until they pay back every fucking dime of that loan that was forgiven to the government. No, I'm, I'm really curious what he would say is the difference. You know that's, what I mean? Because that's for businesses, Ethan. Businesses know how to handle the money, whereas uh, the twenty grand right. that each individual, you know, person took on, or even more debt that they took on to become a productive member of society, to to become a high you're, earner. You're giving you're giving the Biden too much credit. You keep saying twenty k. That's like a very small percentage. Where's the Pell Grants? Okay, ten k. Yeah, ten k. The lever. Uh, the con uh, let's see. The conglomerate led by Mitch McConnell's wife family received a loan of three hundred and fifty thousand to one million. Yeah. Firm run by U.S. Transportation Secretary Elon Chow's family got uh yeah. So she's here's a, McConnell saying we already read his right. Yeah. yeah. So he, same so he, thing. He got a fat fucking handout, bro. He, th we're talking about ten thousand. This man got up to seven hundred and fifty thousand. So that's yeah. a pretty good deal for him. The worst is like a lot of these fucking demons took that money uh, with assurances that they were not going to actually fire anybody or, or uh, push for any sort of like pay cuts on them. Uh, and then they did that anyway. <laughs> White House is going to ask middle class families to pay 20 grand uh, to households earning a quarter million dollars. That's bullshit. Purple strategy this... got $1.6 million. Yo! Yeah. This man got a free $1.645 million, bro. Whoa. Yeah. Every single Mama. person. Every single person, Purple <laughs> PR. Every single person that is like, talk shit about this has either A, gotten their rich parents to pay for their fucking college, or B, gotten a PPP loan, or C, both. Okay, both had their parents pay for their fucking college education and gotten a fucking PPP loan that was forgiven. So this suck man, me. This man got a uh, 160 students worth of uh, of uh, yeah. daddy's money there. It's fucking bullshit. I just don't know how these people making a hundred thousand a year look people in the face who change uh, seniors' bedpans for a living or drive a truck or work the railroads or stock grocery shelves or deliver the Amazon package and say yes, you give me 10k. I just don't. Okay, get it. except like. Those fucking people are also people that took those loans that will have their debts relieved, so shut the fuck up. Look, if you are a blue check media demon, okay, and I myself am one of those people as well, I'm saying this demon the demon, shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> All you do is post, and half of your posts are not even good, okay? None of your posts are good. All you do is blah, 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 chirp on fucking Twitter, okay? But aren't, aren't, That's how you make a living. You but, get paid like $200,000, $300,000 by some fucking shady 
uh, shady like a uh, hedge fund that owns your fucking corporate uh, owns the the corporate entity that owns your goddamn dumbass fucking newspaper that nobody reads, and then you fucking shit on all these people that are going to get debt relief. By Fuck the way, her, you. her company got seven hundred thousand dollars. What's interesting about her is the people she's describing are the people with the student debt. You think these people are just going fast track to yeah? Good everyone talk, knows you know there's I mean? forty five million people in Amazon, America that took a on student yeah. loan debt. Everyone knows someone. Grocery store shelves, student debt. Everyone knows Amazon someone. Amazon package delivery, student debt. Okay, here's here's the funny part though. Truck driver, student debt. Everyone knows someone that has taken on student loan debt, or they have taken it on Men. themselves. Yeah. But you know, you know, unless you are one of these fucking liberal elite institutionalist uh, uh, fucking media demons, those are the only people that don't know anyone that took on student loan debt because. Those are the only people that are coming from rich enough families that didn't have to take on student loan debt so they can fucking circle jerk on CNN, MSNBC, Fox News about how, like, oh, this is so fucked up. Isn't it fucked up? Isn't it crazy that these people are getting debt relief? Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, Ooh, she got $700,000. <laughs> they, are, they are already in you an elite... You know what's elite, crazy? They're what? already in elite yeah. circles, and that's why they can fucking chirp like this and try to divide and conquer the working class and try to make it seem like there should be resentment for people who were able to pay off their fucking loans, who suffered through all of that, those people should resent the, uh, those who got $10,000 in relief. That's bullshit, man. What's interesting about Batya is she says, how do you look people in the eye and said, yes, I get 100K. I just don't get that. What I don't get is how you can tell people that they can't get $10,000 relief when you're fucking... Her, the company bitch ass Newsweek. got $700,000. Yeah, Newsweek got seven hundred grand. yeah. By the way, Bible is pro debt relief. Did you know that? From Deuteron Deuteronomy 15. Yeah. At the end of every seven years, you shall grant a release of debt. And this is the form of a release. Every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it. He shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother because it is called the Lord's release. Where's the Lord's re release, you demon fucks? <laughs> I'm about to release this nuts on you, bitch. Not her. I mean, Mitch McConnell. I'm not, not doing any of that. Uh, uh, Hold th on, I'm coming. <laughs> but like I said, Mad the, positive, the positive note I want to end this on, the positive note I want to end this on is that, like, all these people that are really upset right now <coughs> are having a really hard time coming to terms with the fact that 45 million Americans might have the capacity to have at least some level or all of their debt entirely removed, their student loan debt, and they are the worst people. So... Just, just celebrate this. Celebrate how much they've gotten. <laughs> celebrate it out of spite. Think about how much they're they're angry. Think about how angry they are. That gives me joy. That yep. fills my heart with joy. In an otherwise really dark time, a, a dark period that we're living through. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all domestic terrorists. Exactly. <laughs> Not happening. Uh, real quick, this guy said this isn't policy. It's contemptuous, abusive. Uh, uh, unbelievably uh, capricious. Yeah, capricious. Unbelievably expensive. Shot in the dark. Uh, this man got uh, uh, um, 150,000 and uh, 90,000. We are all domestic terrorists. There, there you is. got a big delay over there. You got ping. Yeah, he's AP's he's got ping. lag. Like he's he's <laughs> signing up from. <laughs> he's on the Korean server. Yeah. Uh, Marjorie Titan Green says it's completely unfair. Meanwhile, this dummy got 180,000 in PPP yeah. loan Fuck. forgiveness. I mean, sh uh, 12 jobs, 12 people, all family members, most likely hired yeah. for her fucking real estate development company. And she got one hundred eighty two thousand. <laughs> uh, Mark, Mark Wayne. Motherfucker has two names together. Pick yeah. a lane. Pick a lane, Wayne. There's no such thing as a free <laughs> lunch. Oh, really, bitch? Yeah. Explain. This is a fat free lunch to me. Seven hundred thousand. Yeah, it's great. Uh, there's so many of these. Yeah, it's endless. Yeah, it's endless. But anyway, there's our episode for the day. Hassan, thanks for sticking it out. Thank you for uh, even taking those bites of pizza. I know that was not easy for you. No, no, it was fine. It was a, it was a way more pleasant experience than I thought it was going to be. And you hated it. Being jerky. At least I didn't. At least I didn't throw up. That was that was what I was worried about. True. Yeah. Thank you to all of our beautiful members. Thank you to Derek Runs for the gifted fifty. They give it a gifted. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. As always, this has been a Leftovers episode. We'll be back Friday for After Dark. Thank you for watching. Yeah. See you next Flocka. week. Flocka! Yeah, so, as I was saying, is that...